is Stars Without Number, White Wolf Pyre, Session 3. Time for the recap. The crops are people. We found that out. Yes. That's the whole oh man, Soylent Green is people. It's people. <laughs> uh, you started off with two of the players having a vision. Yeah. Or thought they saw something in the middle of the night. Oh, we saw it. <laughs> okay. It was the... We're convinced. We don't know exactly what it was, but we saw it. <laughs> we saw everything, Peter. Everything. Uh, then you went out to Agraria. You had to drive really slow and follow yep. one of the harvesters. I think it set, was it five, 7K you were driving? Six kilometers an hour, but we went all the way to seven like madmen. Yeah. Catch up to uh, one of them. <laughs> then you ran into somebody who had like some kind of uh, device or gun or something that they were sticking in the ground and looking at it and you're asking what the deal was and you started driving a little bit faster and he noticed and he wanted to know what the hell you were doing oh you yep. brought uh preston who is uh from uh, from the group this yep. uh, the group that you were with uh shorter is the leader uh the cavulo uh, which I means outsiders I told the guy with the little scanner gun that we were going to check out that harvester and see why there are so many defects. Mm -hmm. and, and then I told him we needed to inspect the defects so we could see what was wrong with it. And he freaked out, told, a, told Corvald he couldn't touch it. And I told him, oh, that's no problem. He won't have to touch it. And I telekinetically ripped it out of the ground and he took off running. And then he got stabbed in the chest. <laughs> yes, Preston killed him. Mercilessly. Uh, because he didn't want him to, to run off and tell everybody. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it was. Preston totally didn't have a heart on as he killed that guy. <laughs> that's why he used to kill the guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, he pulled out control. some kind of body out of the ground. It had a bunch of wires in it, wires coming out of its head. Yep. And you took a reject and a good one. Yep. We need to experiment. And you put it in the back of the truck. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, there are other people that are looking and watching you. They look friendly. Uh, you waited for the reset that everybody start, went into their homes because the, the reset was coming. And Corvault, who who got the shorty shorts, who uh, who was wearing the uh, the shorty shorts. Oh yeah! Thanks for reminding us of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you got uh, Adam's Galactic Champions attire, so you'd fit in. Uh, and and nobody would. It's really cool looking. So yeah, right. Well, you that's right. You stopped by the lady's house and gave her the pamphlets, oh, and she yeah. freaked out because uh, they were basically going to get her in a lot of trouble. And that's not normally what they bring. They usually give her like medicine or some kind of herbs from the jungle, or like the watchtower, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> but excuse we... me, ma'am. Uh... <laughs> We did slyly convince her that since shorter sentence, she must need it really bad. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, then all of a sudden uh, that uh, Corval was working on the harvester and it died and the little gun died and you surmised that it was some sort of EMP. F-350 did not fare well. No. Nope. No, he's been talking funny and we couldn't get Carlton to fix him. All he did was sit in the bed of the truck and cry the whole damn time. Yes. Uh, F three fifty uh, survived a uh, electronical attack. I was I was writing poetry. I all right, like I... yeah, that's why there's a big rusty spot right underneath where you've been sitting in the back of that truck bed. Can't help it. I have feelings. You're buffing that out. If only we had a tough liner, then we'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, the bed liner was optional. Yep. <laughs> Avi is very cheap. He doesn't go for anything. Uh, so you drove uh, across. You did not follow the grid, and you drove directly back to the, the camp, and everybody freaked out who saw this. That's right. Rebels without a cause. <laughs> oh, yeah. You dumped the body in one of the holes that uh, you took the other body out of. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And, and made and it back Annie to the camp. Lord yeah. it right, right across the field. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I believe she was hanging out the window yelling at people that they were going to have to fix that or something as we <laughs> skirted on out of there. <laughs> and 
And then we got back to camp and we put some sheet metal down and put those two bodies on it. And me and Corvald proceeded to get his saw out of his meta tool and start doing an autopsy that we know not a damn thing about. <laughs> but we cut them up good. <laughs> you have a higher intelligence skill than I do. I'm just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Nothing believe, psychotic about that at all. Like, I just, believe they that discovered there was, sure. there was metal in the skulls. Yes, yeah. that's right. Listen, I'm an intelligence of six. If you have a seven, you're better off than I am. <laughs> yeah. I have an 11. Like, I'm okay. I just don't have any medical training. You don't need medical training. You have brain. Yeah, I was I was pretty much going, yeah, that looks all right. Yeah, that looks all right. That's kind of weird. <laughs> the right screen means connected to the hemorrhoidical artery thing. That's what I assume insides look like. <laughs> that don't look like insides. Oh, no, Preston showed us what normal people insides look like right in the middle of the field. Yeah, he mm -hmm. didn't do a very good job of cutting. He just kind of pierced. <laughs> yes, we did. We did find out that Preston's preferred type of weapon is a uh, spear type object. Yes, yes. He used a piece of scrap that you salvaged from the ship to stab the guy and kill him. Yep. And we so, named the uh, weapon. It's Admiral Pike. So typical Thursday, then. That's what you're saying, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the the uh, you realize that both these uh humanoids that were in the ground in their where the brain was where all the wires that's where you detected some sort of metal one was stronger than the other um then you headed out to look for memento in his little hut because you were trying to find more of these uh huts that used to be part of some kind of terraforming that used to be done here mm -hmm. um, yeah, but he didn't yeah. remember us at all. No, yeah. Memento didn't seem to remember who you were. He was running from he you saw you spotted him as he ran to the crash site and was running back with the insta panel that he had found. Yep. Jack and uh, our uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <Should we laughs> have Preston with us. Preston could have got that shit back for us in a heartbeat. Oh, uh, we'll get it back if we need to. <laughs> then you uh use the uh psionics again to dig. Uh, make a oh, huge yeah. dirt pile and find this <laughs> underground cavern which Anne was submerged into and she located some sort of robot that was missing an arm but we did uh, confirm it was not android 2b and <laughs> uh you took that out and then uh you saw three things coming out of the sky and something dropped and hit the big pile of dirt and rolled down and it was a body, and then the head rolled into the and splashed into the water. And Anne looked at the head of the woman who you gave the pamphlets to. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this is a wonky game. It's what a D8 is the initiative roll, right? Oh, are we rolling initiative so soon? Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so <laughs> one roll for everybody, and we'll go around. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, who's doing it first? Who's, who's, who gets picked? Seven. Seven. Five plus two, seven. Uh, Paul, go ahead and give me a roll. Uh, what am I rolling? Initiative? Yep. Yep, you're rolling D8? a D8. Yep. I got a three. Okay, uh, you guys are up first. Guys, can someone help me out of the hole, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I don't I don't know if I can just lift you out of the hole. I can't remember if there's a rule against that or not. <laughs> I don't know. I think you can't lift anything biological without using your ability to do so, but I'd have to look. Um, well, F-350 is immediately scanning for hostiles. I mean, you see three figures like flying down. Two of them look uh, the same. They look like winged robots for lack of a better word the other guy looks more human and he's in the middle uh we're gonna shoot for that one then i'll shoot the laser pistol at him the guy in the middle <clears throat> mm -hmm. okay all right and attack rolls are d20 in the system yeah correct d20 yeah. all right so that is 
16 plus shoot one is 17 plus dex one is 18. Yeah, that's definitely a hit. All right. Uh, laser pistol, if I remember right, was a D6. Yes. Plus dex, if I recall. Yeah, so that'd be three damage. And I believe because I took the gunslinger, I can add shoot to my damage. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that is three, four, five damage. I'm going to paste this in chat so it's easier to read. Oh, thank you. Because it's a mess on this character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, they have the boxes taking up one side of the character sheet with ultra fine print, and you can't zoom it. All right. So F-350 uh, fires his laser. Uh, where, where is this located? Uh, I was picturing it would be where a, a hood ornament would be, and it just okay. extended <laughs> out of the hood and tilted up right. and fired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you hit this guy square in the chest as he begins to descend that down with the, with the other two. Engaging right. hostiles. I'm in, I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. I'm in a motherfucking hole. <laughs> Peter, I posted the text from this. Does it look like, according to what this says, that I could pick her up out of that hole? It says I can't harm a living or moving object. Oh, so how far can think you about move? picking it up. I mean, I can only lift 220 kilograms or 400 and something pounds. I don't know how much she weighs, but... A lot less than that. <laughs> <laughs> Are we sure? I'll just do 100 pounds. <laughs> she didn't strike me as a two Give me a tenure. telekinesis roll uh, as you do that. Telekinesis roll. And how far I don't have anything here showing me how to roll that. <laughs> uh, you should have a uh, telekinesis on your character sheet. You get that number and you add it to either your wisdom or charisma. And then you uh, roll a d6. A d6 plus my wisdom and my oh, charisma, yep. Yep, and my and telekinesis is okay. So that's a d6 plus two. Oh, four. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're, it's, it might take you a little bit. I mean, it's kind of a stressful situation, and you can kind of see her down in this in the hole where you're looking as uh, and you can feel yourself like being pulled out of the water but i drop you like three times <laughs> <laughs> i have a question peter yeah so because i don't really know what i can do uh <laughs> but i'm gonna try this or you can tell me if i can't try this right so like i'm a hacker right yeah systems uh so computerized systems obey you until their automatic fail safes come down on your control. Um, but also I have an instinctive understanding of, you know, tech. I never need to learn data protocols for a strange system and I'm always treated as familiar with it. Does F350, can I either use my data pad or does F350 have some sort of laptop type device where I can hack into one of these robotic creatures and make it attack the other one? Or mess up its navigation system to the point where it will crash into another one. Um, and again, I don't know that I can do any of that. I'm just pulling shit out of my ass, so you let me know, right? There's a cassette with an auxiliary cable connected to it, so you can log <laughs> the F-350's cassette deck. Well, because I'm thinking F-350 has to have some sort of computerized, like, controls, right? Um, he's a sentient being, for Christ's sake. That's like his... Um, that's his VI module. That's like a black box. He'd probably eject your ass if you tried to plug into that. Um, <laughs> he uses punch cards still. I've got a uh, communication software, but that's about it as far as like external systems. Yeah, got it, got it. So we, you, we could could try, I mean, you could try to get one of these flying robots to attack the other. That would be real difficult. Okay. Um, you could try to just kind of disable it or you know cause it to uh, you know mess up its navigation or do something a little bit simpler that wouldn't be as hard the easiest thing would be to do would be to probably hack into this uh robot that you found and start it up and okay you could, you could probably do that okay uh i will i will attempt to do that yes okay 
So uh, yeah, so give me a roll. So is that is that a program? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll let you use program or hacking. Okay, and the, it's going to be d6s, correct? Correct. And two of them, right? I'm rolling two? Um, uh, roll two and drop one, I believe, with you all. Take specialist in program? I have, yes, I have specialist plus one, any non-combat, non-psychic okay. skill. Yeah, uh, so. Which uh, is program. Well, actually, and as a hacker, I get program by default, like, I, if yeah. I'm reading this correctly, yeah. yeah. But there's there's like a foci or something that lets you roll an extra dice and drop whichever one's the lowest. Yeah, I have that. But it's okay. yeah, but it says yeah. here roll three d six and yeah, drop well, the lowest. Yeah, we have we're, we're not, not doing that just yet. So it's right. two and then you drop the lowest. Okay, so that is going to be a four. All right, total. Total. Yeah. Okay. Right. No, wait, no. I add my one. I add one. Right. Like skill. I guess what I'm saying is my skill. Do I add that? Point to yes. yeah, so five. Your skill and your intelligence. Yeah. Oh, okay. So five, six. Yeah, this uh this uh <laughs> robot that looks kind of like a trash can with one big rubber arm and two legs, uh you easily hack into it and start it up. Okay. It begins all the lights begin to show up on its like its screen again. And next turn you can pretty much command it to do what you want. Nice. Okay. I think that's everybody. All right. Uh, Jordan, you see these three things coming down from the sky. Uh, two of them are like robots with like wings. And a third one is wearing, it looks like almost like a jet pack. And you see him get shot. They have, they just and dropped a body from the sky. And you said they don't look friendly. Uh, no. So, so if they're looking unfriendly, uh, and I, do I see these others are fighting them? Can uh, you can them hear them. Or... You might not be able to see them, but you can hear the commotion. I hear the commotion. I am going to... Um, I, I'll take advantage of it. Uh, of the fact that I've just seen the one get shot and try to follow up that shot. Okay. Right. I have a uh, combat rifle. All right. Shoot first. One attack those later. My kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So D twenty plus your attack bonus plus your skill level All right. and so, modifier. So my skill for shoot is zero. Okay. Uh, yep. So you and had nothing. the combat uh, rifle says it has one attack bonus. And what was the other one? Uh, what do you use for uh, shoot, Isaiah? Is it uh, dex. dex or okay? Yeah, dex. Got anything dex. in dex? Uh, zero. Okay. So it uh, looks like a D twenty plus one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, eight. So nine. Nine, y'all. All right. Uh, you guys hear this this rifle go off, uh, firing. You fire uh, into the sky. Pew, uh, pew. Now, can I can I also move, or is yeah, that yeah. all I can do? Is yep. Yeah, you can move. Uh, I, I'm going to start trying to make my way towards the noises that I'm hearing from the ground okay. of those who are also trying to attack. 10 meters at a time. Uh, so the first uh, flying robot uh, breaks off from the group, swoops around and sticks out its arms. And you hear like a noise, like a and it begins to shoot at M350. Don't scratch the paint. 19. 19 hits. All right. That's uh, six damage. It bounces yeah. off the armor. Okay. And 11. Uh, 11 meets it, beats it. Okay. And that would be four more. Bounces off the armor. Yeah. The, the, the We're good round. to go. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> other one breaks off, sees this happen, breaks off, swoops down, and lands right on the hood. <laughs> oh. And then throws its fist 
Oh man, it's laying hands down with the truck. Man. Uh, 18. 18 hits. Uh, six. Six doesn't meet the armor. Okay. So it, it like pounds into the hood. Uh, the other guy is on top of this mound of dirt that you've created, and he kind of st stops for a second and then looks around and he sees. Uh, let's see, who shot him? Um, F350. <laughs> yeah. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> and there's I trying to go ahead, standing outside trying to lift someone out. Of the hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like leaned over this pit, not even paying attention. <laughs> uh, I'd make me a physical save. No, he's holier than thou. Uh, physical save. I got to beat a 15. Does that get any bonuses? I don't remember. No, no. It's no just... Okay, that's right. The bonuses are what causes you to have to beat a certain score. Yep. Uh, that's a fail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, roll. You got you roll again. You have advantage on this because of the where you're at. Okay. Walk into the hole. Same roll. <laughs> <laughs> Get in my hole. Uh, uh, give me a d6. Roll a d6. It's going to be that kind of night. Yep. Yep. Oh, don't worry. I rolled max on that. <laughs> So, so how much do I take when he lands? When on that um, winged creature landed on the hood, boom, and hit it, you turn and catch this light that comes from the top where this guy is. He flashes. It almost looks like a mirror, and it's just a flashing light, and you're blinded. Oh god! I'll just stop moving, Annie, because I can't see where I'm moving her now. <laughs> I'd. Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> or at least 36 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's roll some more initiatives. Who wants to roll next? Look at that. I rolled a two. F3. Okay. Go try. Right. I've burned a lot of bad rolls in a row there. <laughs> Burn ah. another. Eight. Ah. All right, uh, Jordan. Uh, three. All right. <laughs> See, it's the same <laughs> order again. <laughs> I'm in a hole. I'm in the mother trucking hole. Am I still blinded or can I see to pull her out now? Oh, you're blinded, yeah. The yeah. six was how many hours? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to go oh. this big blind. You can't pull out. Yeah, that's nothing new. <laughs> Ida, are you okay? In your room. <laughs> oh, get to the truck. I seem to be safe in a hole. I can't see the truck. <laughs> Go towards the shooting. That sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than standing outside. 350, can you get her out of the hole? <laughs> I am currently engaged. <laughs> I didn't I'm, even know you had a fiance. I've got a plan, Annie. I'm going to drop Annie and then duck. <laughs> Just <gonna> go <laughs> okay. Uh, how high up? You can move me 20 meters at a time. Or I can so, just let go of you and let you fall harmlessly back in the water. <laughs> that's not how water works. It's like concrete. <laughs> You right, drop fine. me 20 meters onto concrete. I'll drop you down 20 meters and then let go. <laughs> uh, give me another tell if you're gonna keep moving or give me another telekinesis roll. <laughs> I'm hoping down is safer than trying to move her like up or sideways. <laughs> I don't know. It's all five seven. Okay, you're very focused now. You're not distracted by everything going on since you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> This is the most powerful he's ever been. Yep. Put her uh, straight back down in the water and splash. <laughs> so, yeah, next round, Anne will be out of the uh, the hole. Oh, yay. You're being lifted up in the air. <laughs> I, why don't you grab me by the ankle? <laughs> I don't know. I can't see you. <laughs> All right. 350. All right. 
so uh, 350's got one on his hood. He's going to use the uh, hydraulic manipulator arm to uh, punch this thing. Uh, I think before we had determined that it was a large primitive weapon, basically, because it's just a giant hydraulic arm. Okay. Uh, So I'm going to make an attack roll with that. All right. Uh, We're going to use strength. I have a punch of zero, so that is a 14. Uh, Yeah, it it just kind of swiftly moves out of the way. Damn. Uh, That's all I can do. your own hood. (laughs) Well, actually, is there no one in front of me? Oh, dear. <laughs> Don't do it, Isaiah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, no, I wouldn't say... Uh, as, as long as I don't have an ally standing in front of me, I will uh, immediately slam on the accelerator, drive forward <laughs> towards said dirt pile, and then slam on the brakes, ho- hoping to throw this thing off of my hood and into the dirt pile. <laughs> and into the eyed. <laughs> All right, uh, give me a pilot roll. All right. <laughs> That would be my movement. <laughs> All right. I have a pilot of zero, so that is a 15 flat. Oh, wait, you add dex to pilot, don't you? So 16. Yes. Six. Trying to throw this guy off me. Oh, wait, I'm not rolling a d20 for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that is a six. How to go? What type of d6 okay. are you rolling there? <laughs> Daniel die. <laughs> yeah, it's right. annual D6. It comes up 20s. <laughs> so, uh, you catch this thing completely off guard <gasps> and drive, you just haul ass and stop short. And he goes flying into that dirt mound and it just goes, whoosh, and you don't even see him anymore. You just see the impression of where he went. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> bad i didn't pack that shit down it might have did some collision damage or something <laughs> all right who's left uh carlton and the new guy yeah carlton, do, does and- so does the robot have any sort of weapon systems or no uh doesn't no it looks it's more like some kind of maintenance or uh, admin robot okay. Um, still got one good arm though. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Uh, it, it can sue you. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just gonna send the robot over to like the hole to sort of help uh Annie up in case I okay drops her because you know I's an idiot, right? <laughs> that like, never I've always said so. So, um but so can I do that and then fire at like because I have a laser pistol? Yeah, pistol yeah. As well. I'll let you do that. Yep. So I'll take a shot. I'm going to send the robot over to sort of help Annie with yep. its one good arm, and yep. I'm going to take a shot at one of these uh, bird-like creatures. All right. Uh, and that is going to be a 16. I am rolling a d20, correct? Yep. Uh, okay. uh, is what is it 16 on the die? Uh, no, it's uh, uh, it's actually a 15 on the die, but I okay. added my dex, which makes it a 16. So, okay, uh, yeah, it shoot you shoot it and it kind of pings off its one of its wings. Okay, you are nothing to me, pathetic man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on second thought, the robot is not helping any. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, the end- they can't, and it just doesn't matter what you do. You're just going to be a failure like always, man. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. All right, Jordan. Uh, can I see them yet? Uh, yeah, yeah. moving through. It's kind of thick. It's a little bit thick foliage, but you finally mm-hmm. managed to get through. And to your left is this huge mound of dirt that you had seen. It looks disturbed now. It's like it's actually moved. And um, <laughs> there's somebody standing on top, and then there's a truck right up next to it, and another one of these flying things in the sky. I don't see the one that I shot at before. That's the yeah, one you that's do. He's like a, he's like directly above you. Oh, uh, I think I'm gonna stay focused on this guy. Okay. And uh, try to take another shot at him with my combat rifle. All right. Focus, dude. Focus. Focusing, focusing. Come on, big numbers. 
11. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I got a 12. What it's class 12. are you playing? Uh, warrior. You can automatically hit if you like as well as a warrior. Yes, once per scene. Seriously? Hell, yeah, once per hit. scene. I just hit. like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm once like, per scene, you can declare an I'm auto hit or auto miss. Yeah, if yeah, something a, tries I, to My background is soldier. Awesome. I'm a warrior psychic, I guess. Oh, you're an adventurer. I don't know if they get adventurer. Oh, adventurer. Yeah, he is a warrior seeker, defender of the faith. All right, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's so. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm the adventurer one doesn't get the auto hit. No, just slightly better attack bonus than like an expert or a full psychic, and they get the uh, slightly better hit points. <laughs> yeah. It's not as squishy as the rest of us. <laughs> so, yeah, you fire up and, like, hit the mound and the dirt is sort of spraying everywhere and coming back, falling down. Uh, you guys see something, like right, somebody shooting at the, at the base of the mound. Uh, Memento runs out from some of the, for the foliage, and he's like, what, what are you doing to my friends? He, he runs over, and... Uh, he gets on the hood of F-350 and he like jumps up and tries to grab the uh, the flying dude. <laughs> and he jumps up and like is grabbed onto his foot hanging there. He's like, what do you think you're doing? All right. So the guy at the top uh, of the mound see, looks down and sees somebody shooting at him. Um. Peacefully, peacefully shooting. Go ahead. <laughs> Make a physical save, uh, Jordan. A I'm D20. Need to make a, a physical save. Yep. Roll high. And uh, yeah, I, I've got a physical of 14. Mm -hmm. I got an eight. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, he fl fl uh, flicks this mirror thing at you, and you are now blinded. Roll a D6. <sighs> Watch, I'll get a six. Two. All right. And then he, he kind of looks uh, at Memento, who's like grabbed onto the to the robot, and he's he kind of changes for a second. He's like, check, check that one. And the robot reaches down and grabs Memento up, like hoists him up as he's flying in the air, and just kind of looking at it like it's almost like he's scanning him. Hmm. Uh, you hear some kind of noise in the mound and the mound moves and the, the dude in there is still stuck and he's trying to make his way out <laughs> oh how nice Jordan you're kind of with the group now so if you want to uh, roll uh, you, you, you guys can all roll one initiative okay F350 I'm counting on you all right I believe in uh, that's a six plus one so seven all right you go first all right. Well, I'm first thing, hole. first thing F three fifty is going to do is uh, drive forward and put his front tires over the hole that he ejected the guy through. <laughs> okay. And, uh, further blocking <laughs> that man in the dirt mound. Yep. And then uh, fire the laser pistol at the one that is on top of the dirt mound. Okay. All right, and that is fourteen to hit. Yeah, if I just misses him, it just... I was going to use my auto hit to make that hit. All right, it doesn't. It skips <laughs> off the dirt mound and strikes him. <laughs> All right, and that is for six points of damage. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Uh, give me a D8 roll. Ooh. Eight. You shoot him, like, right in the right leg. Uh, oh, you can see, like, leg. there's a scorch mark. And, like, a, well, you shot a little laser pistol, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's like a burn mark where his skin, where whatever he's wearing, burned right off. And there's like a burn mark that you can see whatever his skin is has burned away. The crunchy on top of the mound has been wounded. <laughs> it's magically delicious. Uh, <laughs> guys are still up. I'm still trying to put Annie in the water. So, uh, <laughs> oh, bring me back up, you mean? <laughs> No, no, I'm completely convinced I'm trying to put you in the water. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, that's going to be a five. All right, what are you trying to do? 
I'm trying to get Annie out of the hole, but <laughs> is that five total? Uh, yeah, five total. Okay. About the helping bot. Yeah, the bot helps, and Annie is now out of the hole on the ground. So Odd is going to be like, Annie, are you in the water yet? Can I let go? <laughs> I, I'm good. You can let go now, please. Oh, God, Have you're I'll... right next to me. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I'd like to uh, go up when he is shot now and rip a piece of his jugular out with my teeth. And oh, wait, uh, different character, never mind. I'm out of a hole. I'm free. Uh, how far is the truck from us? Parked over the hole, and I depends on how yeah, far I move the dirt. <laughs> it's not very far. Okay, you're looking to get. In, are you looking to get in the truck? You can do that. Yes, I'm looking for armor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She yeah, I'm her out of the hole and she just leaves me laying here on the ground. <laughs> so as, that life. <laughs> as you're as you're running off, you see the android turn with its big rubber arm reaching for you. You have not properly been examined. Return. I don't need to be examined, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I had a physical last week. <laughs> so you see Anne run off soaking wet, getting in F-350. All right. So I I reprogram the android um on the fly to not give annie an anal probe um, <laughs> and, uh, i actually have the android sort of pick me up and cradle me it is shielding me with its big giant rubber arm mm -hmm. um and i take another shot at the bird-like robot creature on top of the mound it might be haunted while i'm shielded <laughs> while i'm literally being cradled by this <laughs> android in one of so and that's a three. So um, I, <laughs> clearly, you're crying as, too much. As I, as I go to take the shot, uh, the 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 android is uh, like jerked its arm back to uh, shield me, and uh, yeah, he really wanted to perform that anal probe. So <laughs> that's what the missing arm was. You're a quart low. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, who's left? Oh. 350 went. Uh, Jordan's blind. Yeah, yeah you're just. Can, yeah, you can fire. Can, I mean, you, you know about where he is. It's just a disadvantage. Now, the, uh, this, this is the guy that's on top of the mound that I've been right. shooting at that blinded me, right? Yeah. Uh, it, close enough for me to run and try to jump at him um or is that too am i too far away for that no you'd have uh you can make an exert check and mm -hmm. depending on how you do on that uh that'd be a straight up check because you're running up the mound uh d6 <laughs> okay up the mound blind all that other stuff <laughs> yeah yes yes and i have exert of zero so that means there's no bonuses, right? Uh, other than uh, strength. Big yeah, you, uh, strength or dex? Strength, zero. Dex, zero. <laughs> what do you uh... have any pluses in? <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Two. <laughs> okay. You're just kind of crawling, and the dirt's coming down, and you're just kind of, you see whoever the, this, this stranger trying to cr crawl up the dirt mound. <laughs> It's one of the mole people. <laughs> Every time I take a step, the dirt just slides out from underneath my foot and I fall right. back down again. But I'm struggling wildly. I was like, let me out. <laughs> I'm making well, progress. So okay. This. So you hear the there's that. something in the dirt mound firing. It sounds like weapon going off or something, but uh, there's no impact in, on the F-350 or any, anything like that. You just hear this ding, 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 ding. The guy up top is just kind of looking around and uh, all right. Everybody can make a notice roll except uh, those who are blind. <laughs> Notice me, senpai. That, that is a four. That is a two. 
I, I'm soaking wet. I can barely see anything. <laughs> Maybe you uh, should put your bag. That's a seven. So as you're being cradled, uh, Carlton, and protected by your new android friend, yep. you Love notice it. that uh, the guy standing on the mound who got shot, you notice his wound heal. It just oh, kind of closes right up. And he looks over at the, the, the flying android who's holding up Memento. And the, the android just kind of turns. And he's like, he's one of them? Well, let's go. And he, the guy turns, and he's got some kind of jet pack. And he just takes off. And the dirt goes flying. And then the, uh, the flying, uh, the winged robot begins to fly out with uh, holding on to Memento. Uh, you guys can take an action if you wish. Hmm. Well, I mean, clearly we can't harm them. Um, <laughs> well, given that the one guy's flying away with our buddy, uh, F-350 is going to fire the laser pistol at that guy. All right. Don't hit Memento, though. Yeah. Why not? Uh, that's a 19. I don't think I'll oh, hit Oh, that's, that's definitely a hit. All right. For another six damage. I will give him a roll to see if he can hold on to Memento. Oh man, he just dropped Memento to his death <laughs> at 350. <laughs> That's okay. I can heal him. I, I hear Can't the Wilhelm that high up, I hear the Wilhelm <laughs> scream now. Like <laughs> uh, yeah, and with a with a seven, no. So you fire him, throw him off. Memento's just fighting with him, and you see Memento drop. <laughs> Raving his cowboy hat as he falls. Uh, he hits the side of the dirt mound and just rolls onto the ground. He may or may not be alive. <laughs> uh, all three of them in well the done air. after he hits you. <laughs> Who's not alive? Did they get Carlton? Please tell me they didn't get Carlton. He's my only brother. I, I'm, I'm still here. I like, and I'll tell mom you said that too. I'm sure she'll pay you extra, <laughs> just like she used to when we were kids. I know she used to pay you to play with me. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. Let me at him. Let me at him. Have all three left the ground, Peter, or is one still buried? One, as far as you know, one's still in the mound somewhere. Ah, good. F-350, do you feel it underneath you in the dirt? Um, does F-350 feel anything bumping against the front of him? Mm -mm. All right, he'll back up a little bit and reach in with the hydraulic manipulator arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, give me an attack roll. All right. Uh, well, that's not that great. That is a six. So yeah, you're just kind of reaching in the dirt mound, like trying to you know, <laughs> trying to fish this guy out. I have not located the hostile. Does it look like uh does it look like Andy can fit down the, the hole there? Can I send Andy the Android in to, to check it out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, like I tell F-350 to pull his hydraulic arm mm -hmm. out, uh, and I send Andy into the hole. Andy, oh Andy, Andy, okay. you're a fine droid, such a good <laughs> yeah. Oh, you so he be. starts, yeah, he he quickly starts crawling into this hole, digging. I just imagine him digging with his one big rubber yeah. arm, like yeah, right. <laughs> did you did you remember to have him put you down first, or is he digging with your face? <laughs> no, no, he put me down. I jumped. I, I jumped down first. Yes, yes. But thanks. Good looking out, Ide. You're always you always got my back, buddy. <clears throat> uh, anybody doing anything else? Uh, I'm turning on the heater in the in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> the heated seats. Yeah, right. I'm soaking wet. I'm the wettest human alive right now. Heated seats. That truck predates heated seats. It's luckily it has a functioning air conditioner. <laughs> it was a custom modification after the fact. So <laughs> <laughs> it that does have true. air inflatable lumbar. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you can buy it on the Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so, Andy Andy found something. Like yeah, Andy, what did you find? <laughs> <laughs> 
That's how we know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Bill, give me a roll. Roll 2d6. 2d6. Do you want the number separate or combined? Combined, please. Six, uh, eight. That's a big number. Uh, six and a two. Yep. Just, you know, in case you were checking my math. <laughs> that's a lot of numbers so right you there. uh there's you hear some rustling there in the dirt mound the, the some sort of gun that gun goes off again and you just you hear a muffled you have not been examined properly <laughs> <laughs> and the uh the one that's flying uh will fire at f350 again 12 uh, 12 hits. But three damage doesn't do anything. Ricochet. And a natural one. Ouch. <laughs> That's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> it fires wildly. Uh, it's They really don't have emotions, but this one, you swear, looks almost embarrassed by that and turns and just flies off and goes... Choo! begins to he- tries to catch up with the guy with the jetpack and then you see the third one come up out of the dirt mound covered in dirt flying off of it and just takes off towards uh the other two as they head back to the sky city is there a strangely oily looking spot on the back of that that <laughs> robot <laughs> <laughs> No, but but Andy just has like this long rubber glove on, like yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Andy finally comes around the other side and is looking around. Is and then he picks up Memento, who's just kind of laying there moaning. It appears he has been injured. <laughs> Please assume the position. <laughs> That's a fantastic observation, Captain Obvious. Uh, does Andy, can I tell, does Andy have any healing? Like, is he a medical droid? Clearly, he wants to examine people. Uh, he he can do, like, simple first aid functions. He's basically, okay. like, for maintenance. And it, it's hard to say. I mean, if you examine, you'd have to examine his protocol to understand exactly what he was designed for. Gotcha, gotcha. Can anyone heal? I, I have zero healing ability. I can uh, stabilize people who are on the process of dying, but if they're like conscious, I can't really do much for them. Well, maybe <laughs> if you drop memento from you know two hundred yards in the air into the water. Like, <laughs> I could put him back to the way he is now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, perhaps we should just put everyone in the truck and head back to uh, the camp. Yeah, Indeed, Carlton, come help your brother you. get in a truck. All right. Uh, I have Andy go over and lift Died into the back of the truck. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that weird guy running up the mound of dirt? I'm still running up the mound, by the way, because I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. This guy's pulling off. Hey, you over there who's running up the mound of dirt. They left. I, I get me. They, they what? They they left. Oh, they, they didn't look very friendly. I don't think they were. Uh, I, are you okay? Uh well. I, I, I gotta be straight with you. I, I, I can't see a thing. I prefer when men are straight with me. Um, <laughs> in that case, uh, Andy, could, uh, Carlton, could you have Andy get everyone to the truck, please? Sure. So, uh, so Carlton yells out to, uh, to, to Jordan, to the blind guy. He's like, just don't make any sudden movements. And then <laughs> Andy, that's over there. Uh, yeah. To you know, lift him up. So yeah, he climbs up the side of the mound, uh, dirt mound, and you feel a rubbery arm just lift you up and start carrying you away. <laughs> Doesn't it remind like, you of oh. your first prostate exam? <laughs> oh. 
all short appendages just go straight out like ah! <laughs> <laughs> not again <laughs> what's going on here just, oh, you were a dentist <laughs> just relax and enjoy it it will all be over soon <laughs> Oh, feels like the old times here. As soon as everyone's back in the vehicle, F-350 will begin uh, taking us back to the camp. Yep. Okay, so you make your way back through uh, the jungle up to uh, Kavulo's camp. Uh, Are we taking Memento with us? Yeah. yeah, we threw him in the back of the truck, yeah. yeah. He's with all the junk in the back. I thought that was the, he's he's bleeding on you, eyed. Yeah, right. You don't want to leave him in his house? I mean, I'm sure he'd be happier at his house. Uh, I think, I he, think needs he needs medical attention. Help. Yeah, right. <laughs> Besides, you have some digging to do, Ide. Digging? I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, give it time. You'll get better, I'm sure. I'm sure you'd feel real confident in that if I was trying to dig and accidentally broke you in half or something. <laughs> well, we'll go ahead and get you fixed up and then you can get to work. We have a lot of stuff we need to do and discuss with Shorter now. Yeah, so you pull in the camp and, you know, some of the, the locals come out. As to seeing all the, all the people piled into this truck. And the various blast marks on the side of the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, we're at uh, the camp of the atoms. They're a bunch the of atoms. outsiders. Where in the world are we? Uh, the jungle, by the looks of it. Oh, okay. Oh, you can't see Great. that. Anybody got any clear <laughs> eyes? I've clearly got some dry, scratchy eyes. <laughs> Look, I'd look with your special psychic eyes. <laughs> Did you also crash on this planet? Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, well, you know, I kind of stowed away on this ship. I, I was trying to. Uh, well, I was just trying to change my luck, don't you know? And uh, it seemed like there was going to be an impact, so I managed to grab shoot out, but. Like, I don't even know where we are. We're in the jungle where? We are not yeah. sure either. <laughs> oh. Well, it, it sure is nice to meet y'all, even though I can't see you yet. Uh, just sit back and relax. We have some administrative work to take care of. Oh, oh well, okay. I'll, I'll just sit right here. <laughs> Good. Shorter, and I'm going to get out of the truck. <laughs> yeah, Shorter comes walking, uh, walking over with his uh, with no shoes in his robe. Looks like they found out about your friend, and I'm going to pull her head out. <laughs> oh, my bag. Hmm. Well, good. I'm glad they took notice. They they killed someone, Shorter. That's that's the opposite of good. Well, so they're tied with Preston now. Yeah, I think Preston had more finesse in his murder. Um, so why do we want them to take notice of a small organization with no capability of defending themselves? Not to mention no weapons. You're here. Yes, but we are one, two, three, four, five. With only Six. four weapons. And a memento. And limited ammo supplies. And superior tactics. Not that superior, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> no, I it would appear. Prophet doesn't he's like right. powders. Yeah, he's right. He's he's right. We're clearly we're we we have superior tactics. We lack air power. They have air power. Therefore, they have air superiority. May we? May I speak to your prophet? Go ahead. I'm listening. I see. So, what are you capable of doing, prophet? Plenty of things. 
anything that can help us defend this place when we come under attack? Yeah. Why do you think we've survived this long? I don't know. Why have you survived this long? Superior tactics. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> what are your superior tactics? Where do you get food, clothing, supplies, all that stuff from? We're able to scavenge and get things. How long can that last for, though? As long as it's deemed necessary. By the prophet? Correct. Uh, you need to scavenge more. Our, our new friend here is going to need one of these nice leather jackets like I've got. Oh, see, and you've even brought reinforcements. Where have you found these jackets and other things from? Were they here, or did you make them? Got them from Agraria. And they had atoms written on it and everything else? Uh, yes. Where did you get the idea for your little group? Where did I get my idea? Yes. The concept of this rebellion, if you will. Uh, you know, you grow up and exist in an oppressive society where you have no future and everything's already written for you. I mean, that, there's a start. And certainly a solid one. But where did you first come upon the idea that you thought you could win against this other group in the city? I mean, well, first you have to believe it. Belief doesn't often bring many divisions to your backside. How many battalions of men do you have? How many arms do you have at your disposal? Well, not many. How much enough food? To, enough to start. To start what? To get enough material and equipment to leave here. Where are you going to get this material from? Well, hopefully we can uh, get it from the Sky City. Hopefully we will be able to take down one of these uh, robots or flying sentries or maybe, who knows, maybe a harvester. Well, a harvester won't be hard to disable, but what would we achieve by getting a harvester? The parts and the equipment. Do you have any manufacturing facilities here? Metal workshops? Does it look like it? No, I don't. Then what use are parts to you if you can't use them to assemble anything? Well, we'll have to figure that out. Where have you seen these <clears throat> large aircraft coming from? Do they have a base locations that might be raided? Our best bet would be to get to the Sky City. Obviously, they would have some sort of ship to leave. However, I am assuming such city would be heavily defended. Well, a city that large would have also many holes. Do you have any way of getting up to the Sky City? Not at this time. Have you any leads on someone who has access to this Sky City? Are you aware of any individuals? No. Does Agrarius have any access to the Sky City? Any aircraft? Anything in the administration sector? No, not that I'm aware of. When they harvest the harvest, how do they usually offload the materials to the Sky City? They bring uh, so what is these flying sentries who have chains and they hook them up to some kind of large <laughs> container, haul them off. This sounds like our best chance into said Sky City. 
<laughs> stowing away within one of these containers. Assuming they don't scan it first to look inside or anything like that. Correct. This is true. And then once we well, get... Now, but I have some experience with stowing away. <laughs> An expert See? in the field. Excellent. See? We already have a subject matter expert. You know, oh. I'm starting to think I didn't check our cargo hold thoroughly enough when we left. <laughs> and, hey, and you'll never know how glad I was for that. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't so busy trying to find some way to strap that truck down. <laughs> Can't believe we bought a freighter that didn't even have any cargo straps. We got ripped off. Stupid thing couldn't even fly. One trip. That's all we needed to make. One trip. Nope. Fell right out of the sky. When do they normally pick up the cargo to be delivered to the Sky City? Oh. Probably in 30 or 40 days, I would imagine. I would have to check the charts. Is that rotational, or do they just come every 30 to 40 days? I think it's rotational. Okay. So when would we expect them to come to Agrarius to pick up the cargo? The city is uh, vast. I would have to check when our when the closest sector to us would be picked up. So it may be as soon as a few days or as many as 40. I would have to check. Okay, then. Okay, everyone, for our next move. Um, I'd, Memento, and uh, what did you say your name was, new guy? Uh, well, I'm Jordan Nash. It's, it's really a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm Ann May. Uh, Jordan, uh, go ahead and stay with Ide and Momento here. The rest of us, let's go to where Momento Shack was again and see what we can get from there. Maybe some Insta panels or other supplies he got from the ship. And then go over the ship with a damn fine tooth comb, shall we? Affirmative. It was a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Mr. Nash. I would look completely in the wrong direction and say, and yours too. <laughs> Shorter, do you have any shoes or anything I can have? Uh, uh, Jordan, that's the truck we're sitting in talking to you. Uh, yes, I have some footwear. Can you get oh, me a well, bit? A truck can talk? <laughs> He's a very unique truck. He's a 350 model, actually. Yes, I am virtual intelligence. F three five zero. Okay, that oh, reminds me of my. That reminds me of my grandpappy's truck. <laughs> Carlton, I told you I want him to say the hyphen F hyphen three hundred and fifty. Get on programming that. <laughs> <laughs> he has a Hemi. <laughs> That's you know oh, no. are, are you <laughs> suggesting that there's a Hemi in a Ford? What, what the heck? Like, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> you were you were banished from this conversation. <laughs> what kind of blasphemers are does. you? <laughs> Why do you think he goes ahead and uses B power cells as opposed to diesel or gasoline? <laughs> I think I use both. Technically, they said the vehicle usually has a backup generator of some sort. <laughs> yeah, they put a Hemi in you. That's why you have all these problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've fallen in with heathens. <laughs> right? Well, Manta's like, was wait, was that shorter? I think I, I think I, I know him. You two had a fling for a while, but you broke up amiably a few months after. Yeah. This place sure. isn't too bad. I mean... No, it's nice. I consider moving here. They have some of the finest dirt floors anywhere. Yeah. 
It received four and a half out of five st stars from Home and Garden. <laughs> and not better Home and Garden. Just the standard. <laughs> yeah. Best Home and Garden. It was rated as fantastic by Yield and Scream. <laughs> All right. So we'll depart to go look at the look at the remains of the ship and the remains of Shorter's house. Yep. I'm probably going to change actually out of my suit and put on my shirt dress thing <laughs> that is way too large. <laughs> no, I'm not soaking wet <laughs> as much. My AC is lower, but I don't catch a cold. So, I mean, that's ups and downs. Okay. So, uh, you're headed back to Momento's hut? Yep. All right. Uh, it's a, he's, got the, he's got that the same stuff in there um, that you found before, you know, the empty cans and he's got his notebook and uh, two, insta, two Insta panels. I'll take both of those because they're incredibly useful. You guys see anything else of use in here? Not that I am aware of. Okay, good talk. Well, let's head back to the crash site then and see what we can find. All right, I'll drive us back there. Maybe now that's not on fire, we'll find more stuff. Um, on you, it's more on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it just depends. I mean, uh, how long are you going to spend here uh, looking? So we got time. Um, what time of day is it? Would you estimate, Peter? Uh, it's, it's like mid afternoon. Uh, let's stay here until it starts getting dark. All right. Uh, you do find some medical supplies. Okay. Do I regain my sight at any point? Uh, after two hours, yes, you are able to see. Oh, oh, well, look at you. You are a truck, aren't you? Oh, they left. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they left. <laughs> me and you and a bunch of NPCs at the camp. <laughs> uh, yeah, they do have some jackets and uh, t-shirts if you want uh, an Adams Galactic Champions uh, paraphernalia. Mine is authentic leather. You should try to find one like this. I would help you, but I can't see still. <laughs> so nothing uh, if you would like a jacket, you can roll a D4. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, if it means I can be one of the group, then, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think I might do that. Uh, I got a three. All right. It's made of corduroy. Okay. That's how you know it's good. It's Adam's what? Uh, it's, it's like Adam's in the middle, and it says Galactic Champions. Okay. And it's orange and indigo. Oh, sorry you couldn't find a leather one. I must have got the last one. Oh, that's okay. This thing's cool, man. I, I like it. Listen to it. It goes reek, 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 reek. every time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've never had me a jacket that made noises like this before. <laughs> Banana jacket. Do do do. Uh, and give me a, a D uh, eight roll. D8. I can give you a D8 roll. Uh, that's a seven. All right. Uh, and then a D6. Oh, dear. That's a five. So uh, among, like, some of these medical stuffs that you find, you find five doses of this drug called Revere. That sounds fun. Can I mope around and go up to my room while I'm on the ship and see what's left of it? <laughs> uh, not much. It uh, has sustained very bad damage. Oh, no. Do I find any personal effects of any use to me there? Yep. <laughs> Do you want to? Oh, oh, okay, hold on. That's up to you. Where's my, uh, where's my random chart here? We're going to have to use it. Uh, okay, yeah, here we go. D100. Uh -oh. I'll, I'll give you some. Sure. Oh, boy. Uh, 79. 
Okay, you find one of your books, a little bit damaged. The title is Dictators and Dictatorships, Understanding oh, no. Authoritarian Regimes and Their Leaders. <laughs> hey, can I go then, chat? Just, <laughs> just a little light reading, yeah. yeah. That's one of my, my favorite. You can tell how much I like it because it is very well worn. <laughs> wondered where your leadership abilities came from <laughs> <laughs> if disobeyed put on knees and shoot in the nape of neck i forgot about that <laughs> uh if you would like you could uh, search for everybody else for to find them something one of their personal effects i would love to do that peter let's do it what do i need to do uh, give me a D100 roll. Who, who are you looking for? Who, who's next? I am looking for, let's start off with um, a personal effect of Eid. Okay. Uh, 57. <laughs> I don't know how this survived. You found a brick of heroin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, telling yeah, mom. <laughs> I forgot I to keep this around here. Sometimes I have to give Carlton a little upper. <laughs> uh, then I'd like to search for Carlton. Uh, six. Yeah, I have to write this in chat. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Did we find Jesus? Yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Literally, yeah. <right>. yeah you're welcome. <laughs> oh my God, he's still writing in chat. <laughs> Good God. Oh, man, no that's awesome. All right, yeah, that's that's amazing. Quite <laughs> frankly, <laughs> I am gonna go further down my major. Oh my God, he's a weird rabbit hole at this point. Like that's just fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. And I thought I was anime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, I'm gonna go through. Um, gosh, I can't even remember the name of the old guy on our party anymore. Carl Carlton, Corv Corvald. Corvald. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I know we had two C's. <laughs> You're gonna find some weird shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have to roll something, don't I? Uh 30. Oh, nothing else that big of heroin is probably gonna get us a lot of friends here on the planet. <laughs> That's mine. F350 has to have F350s has to be like a collection of eight track tapes. Um <laughs> the best of Steely Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm then going to search F-350's room. I don't even know what room he had. I'm going to search. It's just a cargo bay. 85. A bottle of 18-year-old scotch. That sounds like F-350. Uh, and as you're kind of going the through the stuff, you, you come across... Uh, a small little area in the ship that looks like somebody had stowed away in. Oh my, what's in uh, here? Let some of their look. crap has been burned and damaged, but how's a 20 sound? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jordan's got some splaining to do. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Carlton just, yeah, Carlton looks at the, that and is just like nods respect. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm going to look at it and go, so that's what happened to it. <laughs> um, okay, I think we're well equipped now. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can take on anything with this stuff. <laughs> hey Carlton, look what I found. <laughs> Carlton is strapping on his his uh katana <laughs> and uh like uh, wrapping a bandana around his head, like tying it super tight. He's he's yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, you can now say that you have the power of God and anime on your side. Exactly. Literally. <laughs> hey F350. 
Remember this? I'm going to hold out the 18-year-old scotch. Indeed. Is this what you use for fuel? It is a fuel additive for special occasions. You're going to have to tell me more about that sometime. <laughs> I also found eyes heroin, thankfully. <laughs> Tell I think we're all. going to be okay now. As well as five doses of uh, Riviere, which should be fun. Perhaps we confront this leader lady in Agraria. It seems as though security in Agraria itself is light at first before the large city can respond. What are you thinking? Smash our way through the front door and say hi? Indeed, a smash and grab type scenario. I can get behind it. Also, uh, do either of you know about this? And I'm going to hold up the bondage strap corset. (laughs) (laughs) Was this for me? I can sneak in and out like the wind. I am not familiar with that object. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, then, we'll have to come to a smart decision. So knowing us, we will achieve not doing that. Well, I think that's everything, unless the uh, gods tell me otherwise. I'll look up to the heavens and wait for God's response. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, no, that's it. Well, we got a couple of Insta panels. Um, So we have some construction material. F-350, do you think you can move any of these temporary shelters? Probably can. How big are these temporary shelters, Peter? Uh, oh, the ones that, you mean the ones that they're in? Yeah. Um, what, are you trying to move them? Yeah, are they collapsible? Are they? No, they're made of like metal. Okay. Are they like mobile? A metal hut. Mm-hmm. Would F three fifty be able to? Would we be able to chain one to F three fifty and have him drag it? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. I'm just thinking because our population's growing and we're not getting more shelters in the place at the moment. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, well, you know I don't need much shelter myself. I just like to. Sleep out amongst the stars. Oh, that's very nice. You spend time with the mosquitoes then. With his bondage key. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wherever did you find that? I can't well. believe that made it through. <laughs> yeah, make our way back and then have this bondage conversation. <laughs> yeah, so it's getting evening, right? Yep. Should be getting dark. So yeah, so they got a fire going. Nice, and they've got some kind of packets of freeze dried, some kind of food that they're adding water to to eat. Ramen. How oh, nice. I'd. Wood. Look what I found, and I'm gonna hold out his cocaine. Can I see yet? Heroin. <laughs> uh, let's see. Six hours? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, you can see. Oh, God, don't let Carlton see that. He doesn't Too know. Too late. I'm to... telling mom. I'm <laughs> telling mom. Oh, God, you let Carlton see it. <laughs> Give it here. And I'd like telekinetically just yank it out of her hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this is yours, sir. And I'm going to hold up the bondage corset. Carlton is writing in a little book. Dear Diary, on April 14th, <laughs> I found I'd stash of heroin. <laughs> he tried to pretend it wasn't his. So, yeah, you're in trouble, I'd. I did not try to pretend it wasn't mine. <clears throat> I'm just glad you haven't figured out what I've really been doing with it. That's what I'm telling mom, though. Well, as far as shipping weight goes, which is how the tonnage for the vehicle is determined, 
Apparently, F-350 weighs 25 tons. Holy Christ. That's one hell of a heavy truck. Apparently, it's a thick boy. Because <laughs> <laughs> it says in the vehicle descriptions, your tonnage is your weight for shipping purposes. Okay. That's counting your size and encumbrance overall, not just your weight, though. That tonnage is a shipping weight of the vehicle for shiploading purposes. That's because we have to put you in a cargo container normally, but we decided not to. Mm. <laughs> I believe this uh, course, this clothing is yours. And I'm going to hold it out. Oh, well, I mean, it looks like something that I used to have, but I don't think that's really mine. <laughs> what did you have this for? <laughs> Must have been his girlfriend's. Halloween. <laughs> or that. <laughs> Moment, Momento comes over is like, that's that's really nice. Is nobody claiming I'll that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know, I, I'm amongst new people now. <laughs> some some, some so people might judge. <laughs> no, we're a judgment tree zone here. <laughs> <laughs> the last oh, well, by all means, I, I, that, that, that was mine. That was mine. That was the only thing that I brought with <laughs> that and my, my rifle and, you know, my knife. <laughs> Two other things in my pack. The essentials. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, hell, just give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Time for some fun. <laughs> The last ship he stowed away on was nuts, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great ship, man. It was a party barge. <laughs> Bunch of Marines on it with the Navy as well. It was great, man. So I so, hate to break up the leather and lace conversation. <laughs> but shouldn't we come up with a strategy? Uh, you hear a commotion uh, near the outskirts of the camp. Um, some yelling. And as you turn, uh, there's some people run over and with some lights, and you see two of uh, Shorter's group have grabbed somebody. He looks like an older man. He's got a beard with like a big hair that's in a bun. He looks like somebody from Agraria. And he's like, um, "Don't, don't touch me! Don't touch me! Off me!" And they're just they they've grabbed him. What's all this? I'm going to walk up there. He's like, hands off me, hands off me. No, no. Who Carlton, are you? Carlton kind of tiptoes like cartoon style over there because, of course, he thinks that nobody can see him because he's in all black with his... Uh, like, but he's <laughs> clearly visible like, um, like, like, like the wind. <laughs> Remember, if you're crouching, you enter sneak mode. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hot in the tall grass, even if it only comes up to your ankles. <laughs> he doesn't see me. There's no exclamation mark above his head. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm Malachi from Macraria. And what brings you here? There's uh, discontent in the, in the city. They are very angry with what's happened. What'd y'all do? I'm not a fool. I know what has happened. Two, two of our citizens have been killed. One was stabbed and the other one was abducted. Another and body was found and we are unsure of who it is. A third body? Yes. Hmm. I know about one who was killed, and we know about the one who is, well, she was grabbed by one of those flying things and is now headless. Who was the third party? I don't know who this is. I, I don't, I'm unaware. Nobody from Agraria, though. I see. But the other two were from Agraria? Yes. So why are they killing off their own people like this, then? Why are you here sneaking around? I'm not sneaking around. I came into the into the village. Manhandled by these shorters goons. 
<laughs> Just let him go for now, everyone. It's fine. But that's not very nice. Calling somebody a goon. I mean, surely they're they're just doing what they thought was best. And what are you trying to find out? I'm ish, I'm 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 bringing forth a warning. The the town, the city is very angry with what has happened. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how much longer their days of pacifism will keep them. I see. And what do they normally do when their pacifism comes to an end? I would assume that they would resort to violence. And this camp will be their first target. Sounds like they already resorted to violence. How, How so? You said they killed at least two people from your village and somebody you don't even know. I think they think we did it. I'm not a fool. I know you did it. We Look, did man, not kill two people from your village. If a fox stole your chickens, would you slaughter your pig because he saw it? No. You would hunt the fox, right? Like, we didn't do it. And, and we're going to hunt down the fox and we're going to destroy it where it lives. Yeah, we... Wolverines! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Carlton, have you been watching movies again? Oh, a little, yeah, a little bit. You know, I get bored sometimes, so I watch <laughs> it on the, the communication system within F-350. His favorites are like old 80s styles action and adventure, so, you know, I've read There Dawn are reports of a strange vehicle, and he points to F-350. Just like that one, I know it's not a harvester. That much is I don't know what Shorter has told you. I don't know if he's got you mixed up in his crazed religion at this point. But it just, it will not end well. We know nothing about a religion. All we know is that we're stuck on your planet right now and we just want to leave. We didn't kill anyone. In fact, very well. We were attacked by some flying winged beast creature robots. Um... Hey, by the way, uh, have you had your prostate checked recently? Because <laughs> Andy, don't handle that. Let, let, let me check if he's due here. Uh, <laughs> no, I could really use a good colonoscopy right about now. <laughs> Preventative medicine, it's important. Education anyway, we were now. attacked. We were attacked. Yeah, one of them blinded me with its polished butt or something. It's true. Yeah, there was. I, I, I can attest to that. I just met them, and they were under attack when I met them. Three flying things came down after it dropped the a headless woman, Sparty, on us. It mooned him too. Well, uh, I'm just here to give you fair warning. So are you like delivering a threat from the Sky City? I am not delivering any threat from the Sky City. I do not deal with them. I come from Agraria. And there are rumblings. People are angry. I'm just letting you know. What do you mean you don't deal with them? You grow their people. What? I'll point over to the piece of sheet metal with the two autopsy corpses on it. You grow those for them. Uh, and so he turns and looks uh, in the firelight at the bodies and, sl- and his jaw drops and he begins to slowly walk over there. Uh, he falls to his knees and he just looks like he begins to pray or something. He looks in absolute shock. And he said shorter. I guess we found the other two people. <laughs> Are you aware that your agraria grows bodies? They're not, they are not growing bodies. These are our ancestors, you jackass. What are you doing digging them up? Why don't what you do let them rest? The question is, and why die? are they a crop? Why do the harvesters drive over them? What are they harvesting? They are harvesting something. Their life is still giving. What are you trying to do? Why you've desecrated their bodies? Well, one of them was a defect. Your little scanner gun said so. Uh, you might not want to insult his ancestors when they're playing their dead. <laughs> like, no, why not be the time? I <laughs> believe you have been told a lie. I believe uh, Shorter has leading you to destruction. 
these creatures as F-350 gestures with his <laughs> hydraulic arm. <laughs> We're clearly never your ancestors. They are faceless abominations. They don't even have brains. They have these hunks of metal. Snail on the insult they yeah. have his ancestors, A. Eh? Exactly. And also, you might not want to mention that you dug into their skulls. Like, I'm just saying. Like... Dude, there's the skull laying right there cut open. I'm pretty sure he knows we dug into its skull. <laughs> These are something. People is not one of them, though. Out of a dead giveaway. Do you bury your dead in the middle of a field for a harvester to drive over them? That is what their life has chose to be. I mean, and? And all your people are buried this way? Yes. What happened the to that? The ancestors are. The others, uh, we do not uh, bury this way. Who are the, the ancestors? One. And what do the sky the people get the, from your ancestors? They claim life, a life force. So they buried and they're not even dead? Dead to dead in one sense, alive in another. How are they dead though? What exactly are the ancestors? Ancestors means you are related biologically to them. Correct. Some... So we are they. I am they're one of their descendants. They are the originators of this planet. They they start came here first. Does he look any? He has a face, right? Yes, he does. He has a face. Yeah. And no metal, right? I don't know. Did you check? <laughs> no. This is a good point. Use the scanner gun on him to see if there is in fact metal in his head. Now use the, uh, well, I'm going to use the uh, bio scanner to check if it's a living creature in front of me. Oh, uh, yes, it is. Because these things were not, this is a bio scanner. It said that the people there are not living underground. Yes, your scanners were not correct. Uh, this is kind of like a Easter Island Moai thing, right? Like, <laughs> death has many steps how are you related to them you have a full face and emotions these things have no faces i don't understand i mean i i don't understand the evolutionary process that well but how old how long ago was this planet colonized before the stars before the stars Your understanding of astrology is flawed. I think you mean astronomy. <laughs> <I'll>, uh... <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. He's like a Pisces Virgo rising, so like... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll walk over by the autopsy table. I'm pretty sure we used a mag boot to, to see if there was metal in these things' head. I'm going to try and turn that on and see if it sticks to this guy's head, too. Uh, it kind of it it has a little bit. It's not as it's does. It's not as strong as it was even on the reject. But there's a little bit of sense that there's some sort of pull, like over his whole body. I'm gonna I'm gonna think that that's kind of a defect. I'm gonna like put the mag boot next to me. Does it stick to me at all? No. No. Unless you have um, a metal plate in your head for some reason. No. F <laughs> F350 <laughs> no, has had a realization that we never checked out the old lady's uh, body all that much. He's going to grab the head out of the bed <laughs> and check to see if the bone structure is bone or if it is synthetic. Just kind of hold it up in front of him, see if he notices maybe perhaps that these people are manufactured instead of born. Uh, what, old, what old lady? The, uh, the one that they dropped. We had her head still. Oh. Oh you, had, oh, you had her head. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it looks like a human head. Does the mag boot... Uh, I, will you bring the boot up to the head? <laughs> I'll float the mag boot over there to her. Does it connect? A little bit. It's kind of. It's got the same kind of pull that his, he does. Well, I think I know why everyone's panicking about the situation. They're running out of usable crops, if you will. 
Hmm. No people being born nowadays, you have enough metal within their body to be used by the city. That's why the production efficiency is going down is too many rejects. That's I believe the, the good people of Agraria have been led like oh so many sheep to the slaughter. Oh, to put it politely. You're yes. not doing any of the slaughtering. It looks like you are. Uh, go ahead and talk That's to the one who killed all those people. I would uh, call untold acres of bodies reduced to nothing more than raw materials to be slaughtered. I, I would call that a cemetery and a possible oil deposit in you know a couple thousand years. <laughs> Million. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right? <laughs> and I have not killed it. A single thing since we landed on this awful planet. That is true. I haven't killed anyone either. I shot at something, but it was metallic anyway. So, I mean, I, I shot at something, but I never hit it. <laughs> I <laughs> shot and did not swallow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's at this point, uh, sh shorter comes walking uh, out of the darkness with a big smile on his face. Well, isn't it Malachi? Friend of yours, Shorter? No, just one of the council. Yeah, mm -hmm. Council? He doesn't, seem, he doesn't seem to care for you too much. No, none of them never did. I'm going to take the boot and hold it up to Shorter's head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it has the same effect that it did on him. Hmm. A high metallic content within all of you. You guys eat a lot of liver, like you know, <laughs> taking your iron supplements or like vitamin C. Magneto would love this planet. <laughs> um, my guess is that the technocracy or whatever controls the floating city seems to have run out of raw natural resources that are easily obtainable and is now sustaining themselves through the good people of Agraria. But it must have been an older generation of the people of Agraria because these people don't seem to have nearly enough metal content to be usable. Indeed, perhaps when the program was first started, it was more potent. Quite so. Which begs the question then, what's happening here? Why are they in this resource backward state? Why aren't they getting resources from our planet? Perhaps they are sanctioned by the I. Uh, oh shoot! I just forgot. ICWAOS. <laughs> yes, the ICWAOS. Maybe they ain't got a way off the planet either. You know, something shot our ship right out of the sky or something. We assumed it was that. Tell me, both of you, does this planet have any ships for off-planet usage? <laughs> Uh, Malachi looks at you. He says, Sky City probably has something. I imagine. Well, if they have the capability for off planet trade, there has to be a reason they're not doing it. Maybe what they're taking out of these folks ain't a regular metal. That's true. Hmm. Blood. It's the iron in the blood, I'm telling you. Um, yes, but you could just mine iron a lot easier. I don't want to use knowledge from out or from the previous game, but I don't know if it's common enough knowledge. Does the average person know much about Rutonium? Or uh, would have heard of it at all in the recent years in the in the system or no? Because if not, then I won't I won't mention anything because I feel like it might be information that I wouldn't have. Uh you would have to you'd make a no roll if you've ever heard okay. of it. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do just, that. It's just the blood. Sometimes and I cut myself. Probably not with a three. Yeah, Sometimes no, I cut it's, it's just it's to watch that common bleed. knowledge. Mm -hmm. just well, why is so much of your world a barren wasteland? Inflation. <laughs> <laughs> Inflation and wokeism. Like, yeah. Uh, do you grow any food crops? Do you grow any sustainable items? We have, we have food stores. We have. Where does your food come from? 
shorter. <laughs> we have uh, food supplies. What type of food? It was uh, the ancestors stockpiled it for us. Have you ever tried growing anything other than people underground? Wheat, radishes, rice. Nothing, nothing. I don't believe anything would grow. Well, everyone, I think I know the problem. This is a dead world, and they're harvesting something from these bodies that they can use to get food. So, so what you're telling me is, is you've been living on what you got in the cupboards, and you haven't been pulling anything out of the ground. But you've been putting your ancestors into the ground? Yes. And then what are the harvesters taking? They, they're harvesting whatever they need from our ancestors. And what's that? It's, uh, their, their lifeblood. And what is it that they do with this life blood, as you call it? It's a, it sustains them. How are the how are you able to grow the people? And are they still alive underground? Are they when they they're dead, they don't feel any pain? They don't. Feel, how do you know they don't feel anything? Yes. Have you ever tried being the vegetable? Uh, guys, I can promise they don't feel anything. I mean, we took a saw and cut two of them up right over there, and they didn't make a peep. Maybe they want to scream but cannot speak. I have not thought of that. Thanks for ruining Shorter my is just day. Shorter is smiling at this whole conversation as Malachi <laughs> looks extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> if if you have no new food supplies, what is this food that has so many preservatives in it it can last for hundreds, thousands of years? How healthy can that be? It is probably a nutrient paste. Yes, but even that, how long is it good for? Well, I mean, pink slime, right? A McDonald's burger will last for 30 years. I've seen <laughs> yes, but that's videos only 30 years. <laughs> Wheat will last for 30 years of stored properly. Um, but right. again, that's still a very short period of time. Shorter grabs like one of those free dries packet things of like some kind of pasty food and shows it to everybody. It's like, look, this is the stuff we used to eat. I mean, we just swiped it from the, the city. Can I check if there's a label on it, like an explora expiration date or if there's an ingredient label on it or what's going on here? It just says Soylent Green on the side of it. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's all yeah. natural flavors. Soylent Green. <laughs> <laughs> is it artificial flavors i hope not <laughs> is it like an mre like or do you have to cook it or add something MREs are only good for about five years no no what i'm asking though is is it like a freeze-dried sort of thing where you would have to ask water or like can you just eat it you can eat it uh, dry or add water nice uh it's carlton cranberry. will rip open the package and just <laughs> pop some into his mouth what, 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 are you what does it taste like? I hope he didn't rip the label. Uh, no, no, yeah. I didn't. I, I just tore the top off. That's okay. where the label is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I know I need to give him more heroin. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> right, have you been spiking, spiking his drink, his Mountain Dew game of fuel? <laughs> no, when he gets all depressed, I just give him a little pick-me-up. That's all. I explained so much and so little at the same time. Why do you think he's been crying the whole time we've been on this Okay, plane? I'll roll uh, two D6s and just give me the individual numbers. Blue 32. Uh, six and a one. It tastes like beets and turkey. Nice, mm. nice. Classic. So uh, you see Carlton's like uh, his inner eyelid like blink a couple times um, and his... <laughs> sort of his serpentine face like the scales kind of like um shiver and he's like 
tastes delicious. <laughs> and he just <laughs> continues to shove um, oh, this food into his Slow mouth. Down. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm gonna turn the mag boot on and throw it at him and see if it sticks when it hits him. <laughs> <laughs> it hits him and it does not stick. Oh, <laughs> oh <shit>. food, guys. <laughs> so tell me, old man, is it the general idea of the public in agraria that they are unhappy and it is the council who wishes to see things stay the same there are there are those who are unhappy with the way things are done but the majority is content how many see other why this is this is freaking delicious like really i can't stop man it's just good stuff how many other jungles or forests are on this planet? Order uh, looks at you. He's, you know, I don't, yeah, we really don't have the means to check it out. I, I imagine there's more. What's causing this area not to be barren like the rest of it? Pete's me. <laughs> I think we need to get some soil samples. Who here's a scientist? <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> well, well, as it turns out, I'm really good at stabbing things. Um, yes, that's a that's an excellent <laughs> um ability you have there, and just, something you should be proud of. You should happy. stab open one of these bags. They're delicious. <laughs> I'm, uh, I mean, Corval. Corvald and myself were inexperienced at autopsy in two days ago, but now we're, <laughs> we're pretty skilled. I mean, maybe we could study the, the soil. <laughs> My question is, why does this area grow in the other? Um, shorter, does any type of plant grow here that produces food? Mango, banana, um, bamboo? Uh, you're talking, he doesn't know what you're talking about. There, there's some herbs and uh, medicinal things we use from the, the jungle, but no, really, plants? no, we don't really eat anything. I'm going to look around. Do I see any trees with fruits growing from it? Mm, no. No, no fruits in this place. Okay. Well, I guess you're not going to get any use out of that corset. Um, let's see here. Oh, badantish. That is true, Carlton Swings. Um... Yeah, just look, so we don't see anything that looks edible here. And you said there was no animal life here either? No, no insects, no animal life. How does this ecosystem even survive then? I have six intelligence. I can't figure this out on my own, guys. <laughs> Perhaps we should see Maybe what lies Maybe it's not an ecosystem at all. It's a something. There's plants here, obviously. Short but are they that... magnetic? <laughs> <laughs> well, the boot should have stuck to something here. <laughs> Good idea, and I'll telekinetically flick the boot at a tree or something. <laughs> uh, I just, yeah, it hits the tree and falls over. Nope, not the trees. So something, and you said that, Shorter, you said we can't be tracked while we're in the jungle here by the city, correct? What, what about the jungle? Can we be tracked in here? Can the city track us? No. They've never what? tried. That, that wasn't Shorter telling us that. That was... Um... Yeah, true. I forgot his name. With the heart. Yeah. Shorter, why did you decide to stay in the jungle as opposed to somewhere in the Badlands? I well, think the name gives that away. They, you know, Agraria, they told us never to go in there for one, so there's obviously a reason to go. Why did they tell you never to go in here? No, well, beats me. I think the jungle holds many more secrets we have to look into. There's something definitely not right here. Plants should not be growing. 
life should not be able to exist on this planet. It does seem odd. Well, whatever we're going to do, it's real better. and not just like a construct. Well, even if it's a construct, as we saw, the boot didn't stick to it. And in addition, it is producing oxygen somehow because we're breathing right now. Whatever we're going to do, we better do it before that lady comes back to tell us to help those that can't help themselves. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, then again, these people don't seem to be able to help their way out of a paper bag. I don't think these people want to help themselves, or at least this guy don't. No, but Shorta seems to. All right, let's get some sleep, everyone. Tell the city they can be as angry as they like. We're done with them for the time being. Oh, shotgun. Never bad. I give idea. the bondage, uh, bondage, uh, uh, the accoutrements a little jangle go. Anybody interested in something other than sleeping? <laughs> Maybe later I've had a long day. I'm getting in the passenger seat and reclining. <laughs> Dorsey, you said you had some shoes for me? Yeah. Okay, what you got? He, uh, he looks down at Malachi's uh, feet. He's like, what size are you? No, shorter. We're not stealing from the people. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Why you th you think that the prophet is going to let this guy return? Well, the idea is not to piss off the council more than it already is. What, the, what are they going to do? Well, they could send those flying things at us and rip us to shreds and little giblets. <laughs> do you have any bunker, any defensive structures? They're being built. Shorter. What are you capable of doing? Are they usable yet? <laughs> We do not have any anti-aircraft weaponry. You said you're capable of defending your people. How do you defend them? I will defend them when the time comes. With what? This with, the, helps. <laughs> with the powers that I have. With the gifts that I've been given. What gifts do you have? When Superior they, tactics. The How many deems... times do we have to go over this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when the prophet deems it uh, when the prophet deems it ready for you to know, then you will know. F three fifty. Yes. Start designing punji sticks. I'd start going ahead and digging out some areas for booby traps to be placed in the wood li line. I don't know. I'm going to bed. Hey. <laughs> Wait, shorter. Like you keep referring to this prophet. He's prophet of what? Like, of what? Is it a philosophy? Is it a higher being? Like, what is this yes, prophet of? Prophet what of what of... message does he or she bear? The trickster god. I'm gonna I'm gonna lean over and whisper in Carlton's ear. That's how he talks about himself in the third person, bro. Uh, okay. The question still remains, though. <laughs> the prophet. <laughs> the prophet of of what? What message are you bearing? What message? Yeah, you know, like a prophet evangelizes and tells a message. What are you prophesying? <laughs> Away off this planet. What's that? So you're full of shit. Okay, that's all you had to say was, okay, I'm full of shit. Okay, that's great. Awesome. There we go. Okay, okay. I don't know. He's got a bunch of followers and an everlasting bonfire out of it. <laughs> well, that is, that's true. That is, that is true. A James Bond fire. <laughs> so Malachi uh, is, looks at everyone and he goes over to you, Anne, and he says, you are correct and the joke will be on you. And he turns and begins to walk out of the village and uh, everybody give me a notice roll. Oh, I'm terrible. What's, yes. <laughs> what's that going to be? Uh, uh, D6. Six. D6. Five. Four. I rolled a six. Three. <laughs> I rolled a five. Uh, for notice, got... you can also add, what is it, wisdom, intelligence, or dex, I think. Oh, really? I don't know if you can add dex to notice. <laughs> yeah, is it, okay. Wisdom, intelligence. 
Wisdom intelligence. Okay. I couldn't remember. So then I have six. Okay. Yep. So those of you who, who who rolled a six notice as Malachi walks begins to walk away and enter into the jungle to return to Agraria, Preston begins to walk and follow him. I've huh. seen enough anime to know where this is going. Oh, let's get some sleep, everyone. Oh, let me let me roll a d4 to see if I care that Preston's about to go murder this guy. Oh, it's no even, yes. <laughs> oh, that's a three. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I had an idea, so if everyone's bedding down an F-350 whilst we're sleeping for the night, F-350 could, in theory, drive us through the jungle while everyone's sleeping. We could go south in the jungle and see if we find anything else. Not a bad idea. I'm going to wait till everyone's asleep and then I'm going to pull out my book and start reading it again. (laughs) Well, if it's time to go to bed, I'm just going to uh, sack right out since nobody wants to play bondage and I just sleep peacefully. (laughs) Stalled right out. (laughs) Like, you're absolutely jealous of how easily I just go to sleep. (laughs) Out of there. Indeed. (laughs) He slept in less comfortable places. Carlton's just, <laughs> dear diary, no one understands me. My world is filled with darkness, but I have found my true purpose in life um, as he's just staring up at the stars. And uh, I'm going to wait till Carlton goes to sleep and then I'm going to pop the cigarette lighter and melt some of this heroin and give him a little pick me up while he's out. <laughs> <laughs> Not down, you mean to pick me down? <laughs> no, no, wonder, the like no, no wonder Carlson is depressed all the time. Like you're, you're so sad. <laughs> He'll be happy tomorrow. It's fine. <laughs> He's gonna wake up in a great mood. <laughs> but he has so terrible dreams. <laughs> Uh, so who noticed uh, Preston? It was uh, and I did. Okay. You said we had to have a six to notice. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice. I don't know why I rolled. I only had a five. <laughs> <laughs> so. <I> get- <laughs> <laughs> so for both of you who noticed, at some point during the night, uh, you doze off and wake up with that scar on your neck, the teeth marks burning like hell. And then it seems to emanate down your back into like two, three different places. And it's incredibly painful. And it feels like it lasts two or three minutes. And you're in a big ball of sweat. And then it just kind of fades. And then all of a sudden you wake up. I'd like to imagine I have sleep paralysis, so that I'm there wanting to scream but can't. I, I look over at I because I immediately suspect that he's like, you know, <laughs> sticking me with something or pinching me or something. <laughs> I stop it, man. It hurts. That really hurts. <laughs> that happens to all of us, or uh, just those two. Just, those just two. the ones who saw Preston go to murder somebody and didn't stop. That's him. what I thought he said. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> um, so, F350, are you driving everybody through the Yeah, if there's no complaints, yeah. I'll just start driving south through the jungle looking looking out for buildings, other structures. Okay. I'm just going to bang my head on the top of the steering wheel to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone's everyone's head's probably gonna get thrown into the ceiling a couple of times as I crawl over a log or something like that, but you know, <laughs> they'll get over it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm reclined in the passenger seat with my seatbelt on. I'm not bouncing anywhere. <laughs> I got the seatbelt on. I I know you too well. <laughs> I don't I don't know who's in the back seat, but I'm basically yeah, I'm, laying I'm bouncing lap. around the bed of the truck. So uh <laughs> you know, there's there's that. Oh no wonder my back hurts. Jesus. 
<laughs> Does Carlton just shut himself in the toolbox like a coffin? Like <laughs> <laughs> there are no tools in the toolbox. You keep taking. Them out. I just assumed you had your manipulator arms holding a piece of sheet metal over the top again, like you did last time. <laughs> Makeshift tonneau cover. <laughs> yep. Can't be letting Carlton bounce out while we drive through the agraria fields. Remember. <laughs> Well, Carlton or one of those bodies we snatched. We don't want to lose those. We went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I may is hot and sweaty at this point and in pain. That's how she likes it. It is actually <laughs> hot, sweaty, and painful. Yeah, yeah, for yep. sure. That's how you do it. Uh, is, is Momento with you? No, I think we left him at the camp. Yeah, he was pretty wounded. Oh, Lord. He's better with shorter. Is he, though? <laughs> no, but it's better than him being with us. <laughs> Certainly better than being with Preston, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Preston's there, too. <laughs> no fucking God, he left. Uh, and Andy, Andy is with him. you? <clears throat> yes, Andy yes. is with you, yes. He should be yeah, we got we got handy Andy. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or handsy Andy. <laughs> and, and I've actually I've programmed Andy like every so often to just respond with some sort of like emo quote. Like he just spouts off every 15 minutes or so, like life is merely a dream for the dead. <laughs> like every once in a while, Andy <laughs> will just spout those things off. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> When his eyes are closed, my whole world is darkness. Just just starts, my darks. Yeah, just starts yeah. quoting bullet for my Valentine lyrics. Like <laughs> it, maybe it, I should it, put it that always, mag boot up next to his CPU time or two. It always rains in my soul. <laughs> my whole life is a dark room. One <laughs> big dark room. <laughs> So you're uh, driving through the night in the jungle. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't seem to come across anything other, you know, other than those structures in the very beginning. It's just there's a couple creeks and you know rivers and uh, muddy spots, and are you just going to drive all night? Yeah, F yeah. F three fifty doesn't sleep, so yeah. F three fifty follow run of the rivers and find where its source is. True, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, F-350 will start going upriver, see where the river's head's at. Watch out for punchy sticks. That's where they like to place them in the river as you cross. <laughs> All right, so you're following the river. You get to the edge of the jungle, and it just seems like it goes underground. It vanishes. F-350 will uh, adjust anime seat until it is tipped her all the way forward to where her, you know, she'll fall forward and wake up. <laughs> <laughs> it appears as though the river stops here and comes from underground. Give, give me a moment. Let me take a look. Your headlights on. Yes. I'm going to um, open the door and step out. Okay. Yeah. And it looks like it's going underground. Yeah, it's gone. I'm going to step to where it seems to be going underground and see if I can, you know, uh, put some weight on my heel and shove some of the dirt down into it. Mm -hmm. It seems to be natural, at least to some extent, but it's kind of weird. How big is the hole? Uh, no, it's like the size of basketball. That's, okay. Something wrong about this. And is it a hole that goes downwards almost like a 90 degree angle? Or are we, do we seem to be uphill so the water would naturally flow down? Or it seems like it just, there's a hole, it just goes like right into the, right into the ground, maybe nine, maybe just drops right off, maybe 90 degrees. And this is the source of the water, so it's being pushed up somehow. Correct? 
Yeah, is this the end or the beginning of the river? Yeah, we I, was think, to... I was thinking the end. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, my three fifty went the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but, but this he is very. The, he followed the fish. <laughs> yeah. He thought they were salmon, but they weren't. Also, yeah. uh, where this river kind of spits spits out, I guess we're at the end point then. About where in the jungle on the map would we be? Would we be like near the word jungle or? Would we feel welcome in this jungle? I guess I'm wondering how far south we went before we hit this river. You would be, let's see. Are we even near the word jungle? How big is this place? Yeah, it's, it's pretty damn big. Uh, so where the crash site is, if you go... Hmm. Maybe like twice the distance you went to his camp, but south. Okay, that's where okay. you ran into it. So how? So like the like the third lot, third crop row of the yeah, top of kind, the prairie. Yeah, 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 third crop row. Okay. Okay, go the other way. And are we at the western edge of the jungle then? Mm -hmm. So okay, we're so we'll be on the the agraria side. Yeah. So yeah, we'll push uh, F350 will turn around and push towards the eastern side or wait. West would be away from agraria the way I'm looking at it. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll we'll push west towards where presumably the headwaters for this river is. Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, so again, you're traversing the jungle all night, uh, you just driving up and over things and mm -hmm. through muddy areas and you reach the end where the water would flow and there's just this large pool and the sun is coming up. I doubt Anne may made it back to, to sleep after having her head slammed into the vehicle. <laughs> uh, Jordan, give me a, a D6 roll. I got a three. Yep, that's it. There's three more of those things come down from the sky to attack us. So who? So Jordan's in the car, but Anne's awake. Yep. I like to imagine she was doing some of the driving to be a bit more gentle than F three fifty because he really doesn't think about cargo that much. Uh, so okay. So as you all are coming to and waking up, you look over at Carlton, uh -oh. and the mag boot is stuck to his arm. <laughs> uh oh Carlton Carlton what are you doing to my boot get this thing off me what? <laughs> stop it I Jesus man why can't you just ever let me sleep you are sleeping but that mag boot is stuck to your arm don't you right. think what'd there's you a problem with that what'd you do to it I didn't touch it <sighs> Just get it off me already. It's funny. It ha, it was real funny. Nice joke. Works. Now just get it off me. You know how a mag boot works. Did you draw on my face with fucking Sharpie again? Do I have like, did you, did you draw a dick on my face? I, how I, would I, Sharpie I'm make telling, a mag I'm telling mom. You. What do I roll to see if I did that to him? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a call to notice check against is that, is that, is that sneak? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am so telling mom. I'm so, I'm sick negative, of this. It's negative one. Uh, Big news decks. What if I was doing it with the telekinesis? Would that be <laughs> wisdom or still decks? I think it's still decks. Yeah, we're, I'm not getting away with this. <laughs> e six minus one coming right up. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Again, Carlton's notice. So you actually wrote it on Andy. <laughs> Andy doesn't mind because it's like black eyeliner now, so he's like he's all about it. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, it used to be a dick, but Andy's tears are made of black eyeliner now. Yes, exactly, exactly. His oily tears. Carlton, did you turn off my mag boot yet? You're wasting the batteries. What if you, I need to stick to something? You turn it, and then Carlton goes to take it off his arm, and he's like, "Okay, seriously, what did you do? It's really stuck." Turn it off. How do you? Oh no, I'm tech savvy. Yeah, I turn. So I turn it off. Okay. Ugly mag boot. 
It's turned off. Yeah. Oh, the power button, you mean. Okay, yeah, got it. <laughs> Look, I'm a little stressed out right now, all right? So I really I just need some space. You mean you're not Carlton. feeling better after a good night's sleep? <laughs> Did you previously have a prosthetic limb? No. Then why would a mag boot stick to a crunchy? I, because I did something to me when I was sleeping. You ate he always food, does. No, I don't think this was eyed. This I one time, was... he put my hand in a cup of warm water, and it was... <laughs> uh, he's just... He's just mean. Like, he's just mean. Carlton, I don't think this is Andy's... This is Ide's doing. <laughs> it might be Andy's doing, but I don't think it's Ide's. Did anybody else eat the packets? No. All right, I'm going to pick the mag boot up and turn it on and like wave it around the rest of us and see what happens. Uh, it sticks to everybody else. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, Perhaps it has something to do with the atmosphere. Does it stick to F-350? <laughs> well, I am a metal vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> you were a metal vehicle. Now... You're organic. You're plastic. <laughs> well, it doesn't uh, stick to the trees, but sticks to the people. It's the blood. Including us. Weird. What is the bioscanner capable of? The bioscanner is only capable of detecting life signs. You're thinking about the um, med, med scanner. scanner. That can detect pretty much anything. It's a MacGuffin device. I think we should all cut ourselves and see if the mag boot picks up the blood. How about you do that, Carl? <laughs> okay. And Carl's getting blood. started on this. Oh my goodness. The black <laughs> sleeve on his shirt. And you see a bunch of little razor cuts. And he's like, uh, this should be fine. And if he, you start uh, this again, I'm, I'm calling mom. <laughs> he pulls a razor out and just like does a nice little neat cut. And as he does it, he goes, oh. <laughs> Oh, and then God. drops like some of the blood droplets onto the mag boot. Does it stick or does it roll around or like? Does it point north? <laughs> <laughs> if we put a piece of iron there, will it stop pointing north? <laughs> uh, yeah, the blood does stick to the boot. See, it's the blood. It's, the only yeah, way to well, prove it is still, for you all to cut yourselves. You know you want to. I, st I've, I still recorded you doing that on my compact. And I'm going to send it to mom when we get off this crappy world. Okay. Uh, I'll you tell you what. Go. I'll forget about the kilo of heroin that you have. <laughs> if you forget <laughs> that I cut myself. All right. We'll 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 have a mutual destruction agreement. If you <laughs> tell on me, I'll show this to mom. Uh, and if you tell on me, I'll tell her you had heroin again. Yep. Well, then. <laughs> now that we know there's something horribly wrong with us or the planet. Maybe we've been replaced by machines and our minds have been uploaded into the bodies. But maybe. see, that's what, that's what I was getting at. Like, maybe none of this isn't real. It's like, a, this is a construct and maybe we're becoming a part of the construct now. Or maybe somewhere on this planet, some of this terraforming equipment is still running, but it's malfunctioning. Quite possible. Hmm. Carlton? Yeah. Would you be able to use the navigation equipment and see if you can detect any power signatures coming out from anywhere? Will do. Can do that. Uh, so that's going to be program, right? Mm -hmm. That guess. is uh, seven. Uh, there's distinct uh, power signature coming from the Sky City. There's, uh, yeah, this pulsating, really strong power uh, signal coming from Cloud City right now. They're, it, it seems fairly new. Well, it makes sense it would have to come from Cloud City because Cloud City is flying. It would have to be power to keep it in the air somehow. So then, what does this goal in Cloud City have in common? So as you're, dis as you're discussing this, uh, you see a figure, a bald-headed woman, but it looks very much like an agrarian stepping into the jungle right at this pool of water with a bucket. She looks around. She doesn't seem to notice 
and she scoops up some water with one of her buckets and grabs another bucket and scoops it up. And Kyle looks around and just gets up and starts walking back out. Well, they would need water, but she seemed paranoid about doing it. Did we detain her? No, not right now. That's probably not in our best interest. We can interrogate her. Carlton's got a razor. We could, but she might not understand what we're interrogating her for. We could do her, we... and she'll probably, you know, she'll just start talking. So, yeah. Perhaps, Perhaps we just follow this woman and ask her. A minute ago, you were mad I had the heroin. Now you want to use it on her? Why does every, but why would they need water if? Yeah, doesn't the Sky City give well, them mean... everything they need? She I may be another refuge right. seeker. It's best if we don't approach her then immediately because the last time we approached someone, they became a flying giblet. Well, that's because Shorter had us give them pamphlets. Yes, however, Not they everybody have likes to watch about power. Now. Yeah. First things first, hand me the mag boot, please. She is bald, though. I like her look. That's a, it's a, it's a cool look. Like, uh, so I'll turn the mag boot on and point it at Annie and let go. <laughs> just slams into her face. Just, uh, <laughs> put the hand up and stop. Thank you. Hand off, and then I'm gonna walk outside and go up to the water and turn the mag boot on in the water. Does it pick up the water or anything? Don't no. put it in the water. You'll short it out. Hold it above it. Yeah, it, it's fine. It's made it's, to go in. The it's water. a boot. <laughs> it's meant to get stepped in things. It's not a boot. <laughs> When it's part of the whole suit, maybe. Now it's just a boot, though. It's got an open, exposed top. That's why you don't put the entire thing in the water. You just put the bottom. Production's <laughs> <laughs> too confusing for some. Does, it, does the water seem to do anything with the boots above it and the magnet turned on? Nope. Nope? Okay. Now, who's got the med scanner again? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one who does is in the back seat asleep this whole time. I thought all we had was like a bio scanner. I thought we had a med and a bio scanner. I don't remember though. I thought it no, was just the bio. bio yeah, it might have been. Uh, using the bio scanner, would I be able to detect any bacterial or insect life in the water here? Because uh, it is life. Yeah, you don't detect any. Once again, life should not be possible on this planet. Also, all the crunchies in F-350 are probably extremely thirsty by now. It's been like two days without water. Well, we did have rations a few. Let's see how many. <laughs> I actually wrote this down. It says rations five days on my sheet. Yeah, we found that in the ship. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We somehow missed... Uh... We somehow missed uh, Jordan, but we found rations. So yeah. Well, the cargo bay was on fire. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, no, you missed me the... because I, I, I used the grab chute and got out long before the fire. Uh, that's why. Alarms and I that's why when I went looking fire. for grab shoots, there were none. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I sure am sorry about that. That was not my intention. <laughs> I only took the one. Did you only have one grab shoot for no, everybody had, on this? <laughs> we had thirty grab shoots, but when you grabbed the one, you must have left the locker open, and they all fell out. <laughs> Just got sucked out. <laughs> Oh, now, see, that would be my bad. And I, I, I do apologize for that. No, don't, don't I sure did not mean for that to happen. It, it's, you know, worry. it's fine. It's really Carlton's job to make sure that stuff is secured anyway. Carlton, I mean, do you want to talk to that at, woman? Carlton looks at Andy and, like, just AFI starts blasting out of his mouth. And <laughs> Carlton is just completely ignoring um, Ide. So, yeah. <laughs> And everyone was dancing the teenage death boys and the teenage <laughs> death girls. <laughs> everyone was... <laughs> um, well then. What should our plan be? Any bright ideas? I believe we should talk to the old woman. The one who got water? Mm-hmm. 
the one whose age was indeterminate at the time when we saw them. Indeed, I just assume she was old. <laughs> you assume everyone who's human is old. It's kind of a car racism thing you have going on there, a speciesism thing. And there's not one living human on this planet, probably, that's as old as you. This is true. Crunchies do have a short-term expiration date. Unlike the rations, apparently. Okay, let's go meet up with the girl, though I don't know if you should come F-350, mainly because of the fact that you are, well, not the most subtle of things to have driving out in the <laughs> open. Well, I mean, as long as you drive uh, seven miles, uh, seven kilometers and follow the harvester, <laughs> then nobody will notice. <laughs> yeah, does she appear to be following the line of a harvester? Uh, when you look out, she definitely makes a particular path and goes right to this house that's not very far and goes inside. Okay. Well, I guess we'll follow that path then, F-350. Let's go. Yeah, it's an actual house and not a hut. Like, this is a freaking mansion. It's a palace. Oh, well, they, they, they all live in, like, one-story, one like, stucco adobe houses. Hmm. Still nice. Way nice than what shoulders people have got. So uh, as you step out, do you see all these crops and the harvesters are moving along and there's different people out here. You know, it looks uh, familiar. There's somebody out there with a little gun walking along, pressing the button, looking at it. They don't seem to mind, bother you. Make our way to the house. Okay, so you... Following the rows. Following the rows and you hey, pull can up Can I the... hack into the little gun? Like the gun is sort of, it has... Just yeah, to see go what for it. It's scanning for like you know what I mean. Like, what exactly are they doing with this gun? Um, that's going to be a five. Uh, it's really simplistic. You can tell that they have sort of dumbed this thing down. Okay. So it just like even the operator just couldn't tell you what it does. It just accept, okay. you know, good reject. Got it. So it's like a zero and one. It's binary, guys. Like, I have no idea what it's scanning for. It's either there or it's not. You either got oh. it or you don't. Yep. Cor Corvald took one of them kind of apart and checked it out before. And it, it does way more than that underneath, but we can't tell what it's doing. That's just what, like, the user interface does. And we can't seem to get past whatever's causing that. Gotcha. Perhaps you could deep dive into its code. Yeah, I can give it a shot. Can I try that, uh, Peter? Yeah. Yeah, we have one of those guns in the back of the truck. Just don't pull the trigger on it because it sends a signal. So uh, uh, that, that gun is dead. Oh, that's right. It yeah, that's the one that right. died. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So Looks that's like gonna, a suicide. That's a five again. So the gun is picking up some kind of metal and it also sends a signal up to the sky city so it's detecting for the presence of some kind of alloy and then transmitting that you know either positive or negative presence uh up to sky city that doesn't tell us much of anything then well wait a minute if we know what it's detecting then maybe uh, we could make it detect and send the signal and then the Sky City would send something down to get it. Well, that's what the harvesters are for, is the harvesters tell it if it's good or bad. Or the machine tells it if it's good or bad and the harvesters supposedly harvest it. And then they come and get in a large batch. Well, then that's our way up. That's the plan. Okay, we just, all we got to do is steal us about four of these harvesters and then put them somewhere they're not supposed to be and then send a signal to come empty. Well, what if we hack the gun? What if, what if we hack the gun or the harvester to send up a signal that we have a big batch, right? Um, we send multiple positives, like a hundred, a thousand positives. So that's because it's transmitting back to Sky City and then Sky City will send down transport to try to, you know, to come and pick it up because they'll think that there's a batch ready. Well, as they, as we were told earlier, it's on rotation when they come pick things up. 
Right, but it is transmitting back. And so what I'm saying is if there is an additional batch, they might push through uh, an extra transport to pick up the larger amount. I think the most likely thing they do is want to investigate why there's suddenly such a huge patch in the middle of a place where they're f f falling behind. But they would, but they would still send a ship down. Oh, well, to come investigate. Yeah, they send the. Uh, they don't send ships. They send those flying sentry things. Oh, all right. Well, and we don't want no more of those around. You know, I couldn't see for half the day that thing's butt was so bright. And it's maybe next stuff. time we get some sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> that PS thirty thousand. Did, did you bring some sunglasses, or did you just bring your bondage collar? Oh well, I didn't bring any sunglasses, but maybe somebody around here will have a pair. I mean, technically, my vac suit would have had a tinted visor, but it got a little messed up because somebody messed up all our grav shoots, and we almost died crashing a ship onto the planet. <laughs> <laughs> well, now see, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> and I sure do apologize. <laughs> but let's let's not worry too much about that at the moment. Let's just. <clears throat> keep our eyes on the prize here we have someone we need to talk to who might care to explain why they're sneaking away to grab water yep. indeed yep we just need the truck to knock on the door with the big metal arms to really scare them a little bit and then we'll get carlton to get the razor out and no we'll hold it no, down no no we're not resorting to immediate fear tactics and violence I, I, I gotta be honest, I usually just cut myself, but I'm sure I could do it on somebody else. I'm, I'm, you I'm you're not that experience, yeah. Carlton. You're probably going to have muscle that. memory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all gonna be wrong. Let, let's just go up there now, knock on the door nicely, and introduce myself and see if we can get them talking. Uh, yeah. Talk, that's when we murder them. <laughs> the door opens, and you see that same woman. Uh, looks to be maybe mid 40s bald oh, hello Pizza there Reddit. yes um do you have anywhere we can talk in private um why let's just say you went exactly unseen in your little trip to the watering hole today i i, I apologize I, I i'm very sorry I, i'll pour it out right now and she no, no, the... no 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 don't don't okay give me a talk maybe we come in Give you a talk roll. Okay, I will give you a talk roll because I have that is what my character is good at. That is a five and three, so eight. Oh, 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 okay. Don't pull it out. Let's just talk, okay? Okay. May we come in? Is it safe to talk in here? She looks and notices everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yes, it's, 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 it's safe. Okay. Thank you. Thank you gonna walk in my telekinetic arsenal is invisible at the moment <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> she does not see my large psychic gun and armor <laughs> uh and you notice like in the corner uh are the two buckets of water and she's got uh draped around it it's like underneath like a little table and she's got like a uh, cloth but you can see the ends of the bucket so she's kind of sort of hiding them mm -hmm. and it's just a one room there's like a little cot in here and a table and uh, uh you know a chair oh, did the did the janitor bot come inside with us <laughs> um the 25 ton <laughs> No, he's got like a little. Yeah, I've got a little right. janitor bot, little squeegee, squeegee bot. He's got a little squeegee and a water squirter. Yeah, he, he <laughs> comes. Oh, okay. Yeah, he comes flying in and then starts uh, uh, cleaning the mirror. <laughs> um, please sit down, and I'm going to motion her towards the cot. Uh, towards the what? Towards the cot for her to sit down. Okay, and she has a seat. I'm going to sit down in the chair and face her. Oh, okay. I do a power move here. <sighs> so, why would you can push up your shoulder pads and your power suit? No, what, she what, she steeples her fingers like 
So, <laughs> uh, cross one <laughs> leg over the other. So, you're going to take the ladies on the chair. <laughs> so, you were getting water, correct? Yes, I, yes, I was. Why is that? Because it tastes delicious. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to the food? Uh, the food is okay, and the water that they provide us is, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like that water. Do you but have any of the water they provided? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Do you have any of the water that they provided you here? Yes, I do. She walks over to like a, like a bucket that's, that's covered. She opens it up and has like pull, takes out a ladle. Of, would you like some? Maybe we'll the see. Mag boot next to the. That's water what I was going to do. I was going to turn the mag boot on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it does not stick to the water. <laughs> um, tell me, are you not supposed to get water from one of these pools? No, no. Um, they said it's very dangerous in the jungle, and um, we shouldn't go near there. See, I'm telling you, the water tastes delicious because that's actual, real, fresh, live water, right? And the synthetic shit that they're giving to them doesn't taste the same. Carlton, you liked the food packet. Why don't you come and taste the special water? Yeah, but I'm a lizard. But yeah, all right, I'll take a drink of the... <laughs> I will. I'll take a drink of the, 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 their, the water that they gave them. Do I notice any, like... Hmm. Like, does it taste flat? Is it yeah, it does. Uh, give, <laughs> is it like I like uh, give me you can give me like no or no survive no or survive. All right, let's see. Um, I bet it, it tastes like Dasani. That shit tastes gross. It's pumped full of fluoride. So uh three. So your like, closest you can save throw is what again? <laughs> it it's it, it it's it tastes like water that's been like filtered many, many times. Uh, this is synthetic nasty. water. Here, taste it, I'd. God. Oh, God. This is disgusting. Here, have some. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Right. I was going to sniff it and see what it smells like. In spirit. Uh, it has really no smell to it. Hmm. And she has the water she pulled from the spring in mm -hmm. the room, too, right? Mm -hmm. I, I asked her if I could take a drink of that water just to compare. I want to do the Pepsi oh, challenge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you should do that. Here, you, you'll need this back, and I'll just hand him the glass back. All right, and so then I'll I'll take a drink of the water that she drew from the spring. Yeah, it's, it tastes like fresh spring water, like refreshing. Just yeah, you could drink the whole bucket. It just it tastes great. We should go back and tell Shorter that if he uses this water, he might actually be able to grow something. Well, the soil is probably shit too. But <laughs> I'm telling you, there's something synthetic going on. This isn't real. This is a construct. It's all in your minds, man. Oh, God. More oh, of this. Yes. What do you do for the agraria here? What's your job? Well, um, that's a good question. What is her job? She's in training to be an elder. <laughs> I do accounts map payable. Random job generator. <laughs> Boy. Sex worker. Uh, I'm I'm a social worker. See? Sex okay. worker. <laughs> so do you work directly for the rule governing body? Uh, the council, I I uh, I do at times report to them yes then what does your job mainly entail here as a social worker uh just making sure that everyone in this sector the uh the children are properly educated and everybody is maintaining their jobs and everything's in good order did you know that someone failed to report for their job would i know yeah Oh, yes, yes, I would. So you're aware that two people didn't show up to work yesterday? 
Oh, no, not in this sector. I, I, I made the rounds. How many sectors are there in a gray area? Oh, 20. Oh, so that's somebody else's sector. Yeah. See, yeah, see we heard some people got uh, kidnapped and stuff in one of the other sectors. Oh, oh, wow. It must be those outsiders that have done it. Eh, outsiders aren't all bad. It's too bad. Different. Tell me, what is the general mood in your sector? Where's that voice coming from? <laughs> it comes a little from janitor robot, by so like yeah. squeegees though. Uh, <laughs> what is the jet what is, do you say the general mood yes oh everybody is pleasant and uh says the appropriate greeting and i mean we're very much in in good order Except that you have a habit of going ahead and getting water you're not supposed to be getting. Well, in yes. fairness, it is really delicious water. Though. Well, I'm not <laughs> looking for fairness. I'm looking for answers. <laughs> Just by accident, and by ac you accidentally walked all the way out to that pool, the looked first around. Time, yes, uh, yes, I have. I, I, re I admit, I am a repeated f offender. But it was by accident the first time. You know, if it was somebody other than us that caught you, some of those flying sentries might come down and snatch you right up. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's not through fear. Don't you wonder why they don't want you to have the water? There must be a good reason. Has the, have you been affected in any way by drinking the water? I mean, put a, puts a smile on my face. <laughs> it, again, it is delicious. So, <laughs> so once again, what would be the good reason for them not wanting you to drink from the water? I don't know. It, it could be maybe everyone can't have, get enough of it. Uh, maybe, I don't know, it could be a limited resource. Does it look to be a shortage of water here? Oh, I don't know. Maybe there's a brainwashing additive in the, the other water. Carlton, do you feel the need to go out and follow a harvester around and scan? <laughs> now that you mention it. <laughs> no, I, I can't remember. I, <laughs> but I keep an eye on you to make sure you're not out there trying to scan crops. <laughs> what would happen to you if uh, somebody found out that you had been drinking that water? Is there a punishment? They would be, yes, they would tell me not to do it. They would be upset. Uh, I may lose my job. And yet you still take the risk because it's worth it that much to you, correct? I think it's called addiction. <laughs> addicted to the water. <laughs> Not even water, it's tequila. <laughs> Is it vodka? <laughs> Gin? <laughs> Does it have heroin in it? Um, it does now. I, I, I'm so sorry. Could, could you, would, you, would you like some food? I do have a few packets. Oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. We're quite I'll, take all right. those, I'll take one of those packets. <laughs> uh, roll 2d6. <laughs> Thank you, Carlton. How did I know he would take a, a ten? Oh no, the two numbers. Oh, six and four. Uh, this oh. tastes like beets and chalk. Mm, good combination. <laughs> Not this. as tasty as the last one. <laughs> Chalky beets. <laughs> so what you're saying is just beat it. <laughs> Putting my aside. I, for the I, I take a bite and then just sort of, you see my my face just sort of, and I politely sort of put it down and uh, maybe a little more of that water. I, just, I think this one might be old. 
but it yeah, should be water. <laughs> all the nutrients I, we need and she goes and picks it up and starts eating out of it can't go to waste i, I prefer the yellow chalk not the white chalk it's just <laughs> more of a pecan flavor to it so like i yeah yeah he likes the yellow snow better than the white snow as well <laughs> tell me what is it that you aspire to do with your life uh, i want to rock <laughs> Well, I always liked leather bondage outfits. <laughs> I, I, I wish to wish to serve Agraria in, in, in the most orderly and, and, and uh, upstanding way I can. That sounds like a and, job description, not and, a goal. And, and, and be as efficient as possible. So tell me, have you ever heard of Adam's Galactic Champions? No, no, what are they? Oh, I don't know either. I was wondering. <laughs> as, as we're all wearing Adam's Galactic Champions. It, it just, yeah, just, just pulled that shit out of my ass. I like I don't know where that came from. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking aloud here. <laughs> well, somebody gave me this nifty jacket. It goes creak, creak, creak every time that I move. And it says that on the back of it. And I was wondering what it was about. That's that is a very nice jacket. Isn't it though? And it makes this cool noise. Freak, freak. Yeah. I like those. Maybe colors. if you came with us, we'd, we'd get you one too. I know. Isn't it the greatest color of indigo? I mean, I don't. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not far. Where are you though? Are you? You're not from Agraria. Are you from the Sky City then? Similar thereabouts. You could say we're from the jungle. Oh, I definitely am not going in there. I I risked <laughs> enough to get the water. <laughs> we're from the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to die. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> yes, okay. you are what would be referred to on other worlds as a mindless drone. You'll have to excuse F-350. He has no tact whatsoever. Yeah. Unless unless it's Giorgio Sukalis and then it's, it's aliens. So, yeah, yeah. It's always aliens. Well, drones can enjoy a good life. The drones can be efficient and orderly, so... They have to be, otherwise they're destroyed. Yeah, but what about happiness, joy, love, feeling... Yes, it all comes from being in good order. Hearing Carlton talk about those things has got me just sitting here scratching my head. <laughs> hey, everyone can dream, all right? I, I, Happiness, I joy, and love, really, just because, I, just because I haven't, just because I haven't found it yet, doesn't mean that I don't long for it. I. Uh. When I was a young boy, my father. <laughs> 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 So she oh, watched. wait a minute here. I'm beginning to get the idea that the two of you, you're related, aren't you? <laughs> Can't you brothers. see the resemblance? And literally, Carlton is a reptilian. Um, he's got scales and uh, literally double sets of eyelids. And I um, is not reptilian at all. And and Carlton is like, what? Can't you see the resemblance? Yeah, I favor mom a little <laughs> bit more than I does, but like. <laughs> we, we could pass for twins we have we've passed for twins before well i i, I can see it i can definitely see that <laughs> have you met any outsiders before other people not from this planet mm -mm. is it known that others come and visit here no I, no one comes and visits no one not visits really. your planet no hey you're like the HR lady here, right? So you would know who runs the harvesters. Well, Sky City does, of course. Who down here organizes them and runs them? There has to be some sort of person that maintains them or, you know, make sure that they're doing their job or if something happens to one of oh, them. Oh, my, my, my husband, Roy. Where's Roy? Well, he's out maintaining the harvesters. 
when is he going to be back soon? Like, does he come home for dinner? She or? looks over at like the window and trying to peek out to see the sky. She said, "The reset soon. He'll he'll have to come in. Oh, I think he'll we, have I to think... come in. Our, you can't be here. It's fine. Like, he's not a jealous guy, is he? <laughs> like, uh, I th- I think I guess what I'm saying is, Anne May. Uh, I think we need to speak to Roy. Yes, that will most likely be the best idea at the moment. I think we have another problem. The last time F-350 was here during a reset, he talked funny all day. That's a good point. F-350, uh, could you go to the jungle and hide out there? <laughs> Perhaps if you powered me down beforehand, when the reset happens, it would not short my circuits as they would not be live. You hear sort of like a crackling sound and then coming across uh, Andy's speakers, you just hear, better run through the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop running. <laughs> okay, let me turn you off F-350. I'd like to turn off F-350. What do I have to say to do that? Uh, you know, probably, probably have to like lift the driver's seat and reach down and completely unhook the power cell. Or just, okay. you know, just turn the key and pull it out of the, you know. Like, <laughs> the back on that way, though. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah okay. You basically have to take, you have to make the system not hot for an EMP, not to short everything out in F-350. Yeah. I'll take care of that now, then. Oh, I'll go get that. I'm, I'm familiar with working on him. You go ahead and keep talking to this lady. Okay, that sounds good. <clears throat> Carlton, come out here. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Don't forget to power down Andy while you're there. Yep, you got to take oh, care shit. of the robot. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to power down Andy. And, yeah. and get working on that hyphenate thing in F-350 while he's powered down. You can. He doesn't like it. He, he fights the programming every time. I've tried <laughs> 10 times now. Yeah, but he can't fight you while he's powered down, and I just reached out and yanked his power cell out. If, right after if he's powered that. down, there's no code. You can't change it. Exactly. <laughs> it's not even right. You can put a firmware update in while he's powered down. He doesn't <laughs> like that. T- that feels tingler. It's <laughs> <laughs> the same sound he makes during sex. <laughs> So, uh, so you guys are outside powering down F three fifty. Yep. Okay. Who's inside? I'm inside. I'm okay. inside. All right. So you guys outside uh, start seeing more and more workers start coming in, Good and they're headed coming. instead of like going into individual homes, they go. They're headed to like one house, and there seems to be more and more like three or four dozen of them just coming in from the fields, working, all headed to one place. Uh, Carlton, I think there's a party over there. We should I was just going to say key party. Yeah, right? Like, all right. Um, we should go check that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally in. Uh, they probably need, well, Andy was powered down. I was going to say we could have like our mobile DJ service. But yeah, let's, let's head over there for sure. We should probably cover up F-350. Although, I guess they're already walking back. It's probably too late to hide him. Well, so we F-350... We really to cover him up with anyway. I don't know. Your sadness. <laughs> sure, it's all <laughs> tears. Yeah. Right. All right, so you guys are walking over there. Um, you also notice... Um, uh, the, you guys are, that are in the house talking to her that people were walking by the window too like three four five so a lot of people are walking by not looking in just you can notice them go by and what's with all the people she's like i don't usually there's not that many i mean the resets soon but there shouldn't be this many people i'm gonna peek outside the window and look yeah they're all gravitating to this one house as you see carlton and uh, Carlton, I, is, Carlton is sneaking Scooby Doo style. <laughs> yes, right. Uh, and as you're getting closer to this group of people, uh, you notice that somebody has come out of this this house and starts handing everybody like makeshift weapons, like 
a shovel, uh, like a pick, like a spike, like uh, you know, a hammer, all these different makeshift weapons. And uh, you see somebody like move up, you know, everybody kind of parts out of the way of them. And they're like, this is the last time these outsiders are, are, are going to murder our people. Let's go. And he, he starts to lead them in the direction of uh, Cavulo's uh, camp. And we can stop right there. Uh, that's that's okay. before I get my murder on. <laughs> it, it's okay. It's going to take them about 15 hours to walk that. <laughs> We've got time. Once the reset's over, we'll just power up our truck, catch up, and run them over. <laughs> Fuck that man! I'm joining. Be- I'm joining the angry mob. Like Carlton <laughs> thinks that like this is this is sort of their hobby or something, and they're doing this is like theater practice, and they're they're it's the they're, they're it's it's their latest rendition of Les Misérables, and it's like oh yeah, man, I'm I'm totally I'm in with that. Like theater people, that's my those are my people, man. They're going to kill our friends. <laughs> no, are they really all that much our friends? <laughs> Do we really care? Yeah, like, do we really care if anyone on this planet dies? I mean, let's, let's be honest. <laughs> I, like, I mean, we really haven't determined uh, exactly who's in the right because clearly the but, the cult people aren't exactly. Well, they're not right. all there. That, that's what I was saying last time. Like, we were basically like, we were out to destroy the, the pacifist culture that just like encourages. <laughs> creativity and artistic expression like for the people that literally are just kind of like you know synthetic drones i don't know man like i don't know we don't even know why we're here we're just trying to leave none of us know why we're truly here (laughs) i mean i'm fine if we have to kill the whole population if that gets us off this rock (laughs) here carlton i got a fresh box of razor blades for you (laughs) Oh, well, we shouldn't have to kill anybody to be able to accomplish our goals. We just need to go at it with a great attitude. <laughs> Somebody kill me now. I have literally been stuck in purgatory. Is that optimism that I hear? How can you be so <laughs> optimistic when the world is a shithole? <laughs> The world well, we're gonna is- we're gonna let him go up there and seduce one of those technocrats or whatever with his little leather bondage outfit. And they'll give us a ship. I think maybe we uh, usurp this uh, pr- great prophet who seems to be just full of shit. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, the prophet with no message. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now we know why it's been 60 years that they still haven't been able to escape this planet because they're not actually doing anything. Like the planning phase, it's all good, right? But like at some point, you, the plan needs to go into action. So. They're- their plan was to sit around and wait till somebody crashed and didn't die and then be like, these people will get us off. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. Hurry up and wait. That's a good That's a good strategy for sure. I'm thinking anime has to do a very inspirational speech in front of two mobs. That won't be too difficult. I'm saying, I think we rouse up the, the, the mob. Like we get, grab some extra pitchforks and torches join in and just see what happens like i'm telling you i think Bruce, Aunt May did, just, did, i think we just leave in. her top in the driver's seat i think we go flying in there like a bat out of hell between the two mobs stopping between both of them and we give a very inspirational speech that gets them both on our side right we'll make it cool i'll get some of that scrap sheet metal and float it up in the air and you can stand on top of it and i'll fly you around above the mob promising Good water, good food, and <laughs> an efficient society, and a brick of heroin. Um, don't don't offer him up any of that chalk bagged food. No. That stuff was not. It was it was not good. Like I intend to show them. I, to- I thrive on despair, and that shit was awful even to me. So like, yeah, yeah. you don't like chalky beans? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're going to teach him to eat Technomancer. I imagine he just took like a mouthful of that, that stuff and then coughed and you saw the dust come exactly. out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, we got the bondage strap corset. So, I mean, that's a good start. Is that your that's new always, costume? That is, that's always a party starter for sure. That's so. that is. I, yeah. I just need the, um, 
boots the thigh highs with the four inch spiked heel and i'm all set <laughs> i'm sure we can whip some up we had some insta panels <laughs> that's not how those work, <laughs> how those work. <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah that uh, those random items are from dead planet yep thanks I guys will, i'll see it. you next i'll see you next week yep yeah all right y'all have a good night all right, all right. thanks everybody Thank you.